Hello everybody. Welcome back to... Welcome back to A Bug's Life, the video game. Bug's Life. You know what, I actually remember there was a Bug's Life video game. I think my friend had it for N64 and he let me borrow it and I vaguely remember playing it. We might have to try that one day, but for now... We are playing... Bug Fables, the Everlasting Sapling, and we just finished chapter two last stream, so now we are moving on to chapter three. That's what we're going to do today, and you know, that's why I'm trying to do these on days where I can start early, so that way we can get through the whole chapter. So let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and... Okay... I never played the Toy Story 2 game. I feel like I vaguely remember... Oh no, it's being weird again. Yeah, when I hit jump it shoots as well. Yeah, okay. I probably have to restart the game again. Hang on. Um, there isn't just a quit out of the game option on this game, is there? And I've, I've been noticing I have to just manually close it. Or maybe there is and I just haven't found it. You know what's funny? I have an achievement for completing chapter one on Steam, and I don't have an achievement for completing chapter two. That seems a little strange, because we did complete chapter two. <laughs> And the funny thing is, I think when I beat Chapter 2, an uh, achievement, like, unlocked popped up. But it didn't, like, on the game itself, but it didn't pop up on Steam. Alright, that fixed it. Okay, so I think we're done with this town, or whatever this place is. Well, actually, why don't we rest and heal up, and then we could try to do that thing yesterday that I had no health to do. Yes. It's funny that they make them they make you do the math. It's like there are three berries a night, and there are three of you, therefore it costs nine berries. And then I actually probably should get some items that are um who are you? Heard my Thiva was here, but it seems I missed her. I wonder where her next show will be. Show's finally over, but you're still free to hang out. If you're here for requests, oh right. Um, I had a good time at the festival, but I dropped my hat somewhere. It was a gift from mommy, and it made me confident. I really sniff need it back. I'm in the Ant Kingdom's residential area. So we can just accept. Now, how the heck did we accept all the quests at once last time? Since you can have multiple quests running, you might as well just accept them all, because you might run into any of them at any point. There's the store. So we need TP. Oh, or honey drop, and then we can get that guy to cook the honey drops. So, get a few of those. Talk to the quest giver. Didn't we just talk to him? Yeah, there's no second option, unless you mean go to the board. I don't know. Um, Anyhow, let's cook these drops real quick and then we'll go ahead and head off to our next goal. Hello. Yeah, make me some gold rank food, please. Honey, honey drops. 
witness it. Hey, Donga. Hell yeah, my homie Bay Reviews is playing some Jug Fables. We sure are. Uh, you never tasted a dish of this caliber. Hey, Rewinding, how's it going? Well, Duskus, when I talked to the dude, before I talked, like, he, he just said go to the board. Like, even when, before I took all the quests. Anyways, we're making us some glazed honeys, because we're going to need them. Whoops. Pretty cool, it literally just makes it better. I know some items in Paper Mario, you would cook them and it would kind of like give you a different type of benefit rather than just completely being better. Like, if I remember correctly, there were some items that would maybe just heal you a certain amount and then when you cook them, it would change it so that it's half healing, half TP or half uh, flower points for that game. Um, pretty good, how's it going? Uh, going going well, Rewinding. We just started again. We, have, we are on our way to chapter three, but actually I need to go do that thing yesterday that I wasn't able to do because I was so low on health and everything. We, do we have a Jersey cake? We had one before, but I think we used it. We could get one. It's pretty good, actually. It's good to have, just in case. Damn it. <sighs> ah, I will say having to remember, like, figure out where to step to hit these switches sometimes can be a little weird. It, it actually just makes you really impressed at how little depth perception problems you, you get in Paper Mario. Because you would think you that would come up a lot more. I mean, Nintendo can do make some really polished games when they they put their mind to it. Now, like right there, what was going on there? Both of the things were spinning, but the second one wasn't working. Weird. Weird. Okay. Now I think it's coming up. There we go. The camera was taking a second. Here we go. See, when I saw this here, it's like, okay, you would have to even remember to come this way rather than take the shortcut. So I figured, okay, we're going to come up here and there's going to be some item and that's going to be it. But that was not the case. Instead, it was this area, I was like, okay, it's a puzzle with enemies, and then there you'll get the item. And, and once again, I was wrong. Let's take this guy out real quick. Okay. Oh boy, having TP sure is nice. This guy is not getting flipped over. I'm starting to question if, if the snail can be actually flipped over. I am starting to... 
wonder. I'm going to throw one of. I'm gonna. I'm gonna move rally. If I remember how to turn relay. I keep saying rally to Kabu. So I can hopefully finish your. Wow, you're not Kabu. Oh, it's so, all right because V got the turn boost. So. Okay, well, turned out okay in the end. In the end. Also, I didn't realize that you could just let uh, V's meter bounce back and forth. Um. Wait, did the mosquito just attack and it wasn't their turn yet? That must be like some special skill they have. That was weird. It was hiding in its shell, Duskus. You, if you rewind the stream, because I had done that before too, and I, I, I've been waiting to like see it flip over, and it hasn't happened yet. Because I used Leaf's ice thing, which didn't freeze it, but it made it go go into its shell, and then I tried to flip it, and it did it, it did not flip. How can she flip? So yeah, I don't know if it's like, there's just a small chance that it could flip over or what. I, I might just be having bad luck with that. Yeah, and then see, I didn't expect- like, this is nothing because we have health and TP now, but I, I had nothing coming into this, so I was like, oh, this is not a good situation. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! My controller stopped being con uh, connected because suddenly I was walking down right and I was not holding down right. God damn it. I was like perfect. I was avoiding them just fine. Oh, well, whatever. We'll just take these guys out. I, it sucks that that happens a lot of times when your controller disconnects in a game. It just keeps remembering whatever your last input was. I wish that every game just like would would know to pause when your controller gets disconnected, but I'm sure it depends on different factors. Ah, it was like a rage status, gotcha. Interesting. Very interesting. Hello, Sally. Well, that's a lot of berries. Ah! I got in the way of my berry collection. No worries, Sally. You can you can come and go as you please. Beep, beep, beep. Come here. Goodbye, little chestnut boy. Oh my god, that Snell. It's like that Snell in particular likes to attack as the as an enemy is dying still. Which, I, it always catches me off guard. And I don't know if that's like on purpose that the snail has that attribute. Or if it's just kind of maybe a glitch or something they hadn't anticipated. But it always catches me off guard. Um, shouldn't be using up all my TP all the time probably. There we go. Um... You were playing Street Fighter V Champion Edition. Oh, really? I like Street Fighter. 
Five isn't my favorite, but I, I like Street Fighter a lot though. It's one of my favorite series. You won two two matches with eleven, really. Right, they okay, so in Street in Street Fighter 3, in Third Strike, there's a character named Twelve, which is like the white goopy creature that has its own moveset. And then in Street Fighter 5 they added eleven, right? Which is I think it's just a, I think it's just an edge master type character where <clears throat> It just randomly gains the move set of another character. Like it's a, it's effectively like picking random, except the aesthetic is of like this creature, right? I believe that's how it works. I haven't tried Eleven yet. I was hyped when they came out with Oro because Oro is my favorite Street Fighter character. Um, specifically in Third Strike, and. I like Oro in 5, but he's been like really neutered. There's a lot of stuff that Oro could do in 3 that he can't do in 5, unfortunately. And I and I and I understand why. Because um It's just it's a different game. There's certain things that you're just not going to be able to do because it's a different game. Like, Oro had an air jump in Third Strike, which is just unprecedented in Street Fighter, like to have an air jump. There's characters who could wall jump, but never straight up air jump. There we go. Ah, I missed. Oh, I missed. But, uh, so yeah, he doesn't have his air jump in Third Strike. And there's some other th I don't really remember off the top of my head, but, uh... It was kind of to be expected. Edge Master, no, I don't speak Soul Calibur. What you described to me is clearly, uh, Mokujin. Oh, yeah. Is, is there a version with Mokujin that has, uh, its own moveset too, though, I think? I think there is. I could be wrong, but I think there is. Alright, I'm trying to figure out where we're going here. Oh, I see what we're supposed to do. That's another thing with this game that you don't really encounter in Paper Mario so much, is camera angles hiding stuff from you. There we go. Um, Dan Habib. Oh, I love Dan. I, I I think Dan is probably the one character in five that is be better in five than he was in the other games. I thought they did a great job with Dan. Yeah, Dan Habiki was parodying a uh, an, a a King of Fighter character, which was already parodying uh, Ryu and Ken. I think it was uh, Ryo from King of Fighters. And look at if I had just made it over here last time, there was a place to heal actually, which is funny. What's this? Are we gonna fight like a mini boss? Oh, okay, I did not expect that. Um, I don't think Street Fighter V is available for Switch, unfortunately. I think it's just like Steam and PS4 and stuff. Um. Okay, so. Let's spy on this. Oh, uh, you monster, how dare you devour other bugs? We, we haven't seen evidence of this devouring other bugs. <laughs> I'll cut you and your lackeys' stems down. 51 HP. You leave. If someone gets swallowed, fight from within. We shall not flee until you escape. Okay. Interesting. 
Well, I didn't expect something with this much health to show up, to be honest. So, um... You know, if the person in front has more attack damage, then it would make more sense to not spy with the person in front, wouldn't it? Oh, it's a secret boss and there's multiple secret bosses. Oh, that's cool. See, I did not expect to see that up there. I thought it was just going to be a little item or something. Alright, well, I'm going switch, to switch, switch spots with you. Wait, did I turn relay? Ah, oh, damn it, I meant to switch spots. Oh, well, whatever, I guess. No use crying over spilled milk. Alright, um... Alright, well, I guess we'll just see what we can do here. Ooh. That had a better AoE attack than the actual boss we just fought. Okay, and then that happened too. Okay, one turn and we just got messed up. Well, the only problem with that desk is, is I've already lost my attack since when you relay you lose attack. And now we're poisoned, apparently. So that's not very good. So what I'm thinking is, um... Let's give the spicy berry to Leaf. And then Leaf can freeze. Hopefully this does something. Nope. I was hoping that would freeze them. Oh, if you relay back, it goes back to normal. Okay, see, I didn't realize that. Uh, so this is a side thing that I shouldn't even be doing. I'm just gonna be wasting time here, aren't I? See, I did not know that this was gonna be like a thing that was gonna take a while. Like, the whole goal is to just kind of do go through the base game and beat all the chapters because I know it's gonna take a while. So this was maybe not the best decision. All right, let's see if we can take care of the little extra guy for now. Well, Leaf is poison though. Damn it. Okay. Well, well, we'll take care of the enemy first, and hopefully Leaf won't die. Okay, just enough. Well, Leaf died. And we don't have anything to re resurrect him, I don't think. Well, I, I wish I knew that ahead of time. Oh no, I do have this. I do have a magic seed. I forgot I had this. Okay, cool. So let's resurrect Leaf then. Do I play Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter? I I, I played that in the arcade. I, liked, I, I enjoyed it a good deal. I'm not as good with Marvel ver vs. Capcom games compared to Street Fighter. Like, I don't even know how to juggle people, but I, I, at a casual base level, I do enjoy the games. At least the... F I, I enjoy them up to Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but 3 and everything after that is just, like, weird to me. I don't know. Uh... Dang, I was hoping that would freeze you. This thing has no defense, right? Did it have one defense? I actually forgot. I'm just gonna tornado toss. Okay, yeah. In fact, I probably shouldn't- oh, great! Now V's dead. And V's the only one that can heal when you don't have items, too, I think. No, I, I figured the triangle is how much the buff that... Oh, it's an attack warning. Okay, see, I, I thought that that was how much buff 
time we had left from the pet, the spicy berry or whatever it was. Okay, never mind. Well, it's weird that you don't have the option to put your defense up when they have time to warn you about an oncoming attack. It's, re it's really weird. Um. Okay, I guess we better heal then. Or we can incre increase our defense. But we're both gonna die if we don't heal. Oh man, I don't even have like healing items actually. Because I didn't expect to come up against this. I, I wasn't ready for that at all. So, only one of us is going to survive this, probably. Can So if I heal an enemy that's down, that doesn't do anything, I'm guessing. Alright, we'll see... If this helps at all. Um, and then... We'll take a Burly Berry. Wait, I thought the big... The big attack did zero damage because I blocked it apparently, but everything else besides that... Uh, oh, we do have pep talk. I forget what that does though. Oh, that will... Okay, so that's what that does. Alright, well we could really use your V. Okay, so Kaboo would be important. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Hmm. So, how much does Secret Stash cost? Three, okay. So we'll try Frigid Coffin. Maybe we could at least freeze the little guy. Nope, of course not. And then we will Secret Stash. Kaboo. Man, even filling up the bar. Ah, oh, this is not good. This is clearly supposed to be for later in the game, but why wouldn't you come do this like right after it opens up? That's like a really weird level curve. Especially assuming this is like one of the first secret bosses you could fight, if not the first one. Um. Yeah, we just we're just wasting thirty minutes failing at this, aren't we? Oh, and we can't run either for some reason. <sighs> um. Oh, right, and Kabu can only attack. Ugh. Well, if this hard seed can do three damage. Nope, of course it can't. Everything's always just off a little. Um, I mean, I lost, so... Oh, and it can summon another one, that's nice. Yeah, I'm not fighting this again. Change loadout. Yeah, I just- I just don't have time for this. I have to- That's 30 minutes wasted on, like, we need to get through chapter 3, so, unfortunately... This was a waste of time. I wish I just- I knew what this place was. Before I had went through all this.
I did not expect a whole secret zone with the whole secret boss. You could change your medals. Okay, so that's what the loadout is. See, I didn't realize what they were saying there. Um, I mean, that would be a reason to get the poison medal, I guess. Yeah, so that was a waste of time. Stop. And it goes slowly. Camera, please. We're done. <laughs> We're done there, buddy. All right. So here we drop down. They they put it in such a like a weird spot too. It's like what. The only reason I even went through the trouble is like I thought that was just going to be some quick item we could grab or something. But like I don't want to like have to go through all this air. I don't know why I did that, but uh. Like you would have to actively avoid the quick travel to go get that. It's a very weird spot. I should have used... I should have hit the spider with the boosted attack. I have to remember that's a thing. I still don't get how to block that. It doesn't look like it is blockable. Because in every other case, when you hit block, your character, like, visibly guards themselves. But during that attack, your character is just kind of, like, freaking out. Alright, we'll just... Oh, we leveled up at least. Alright, um... We did rank up our medals already. Wait, wait, wait. How come we only have three out of eight medals? Wait a minute. We were using five medal spots before. Why are we only using three out of eight now? That's really weird. Huh. Um. Oh, I'll probably throw in some more TP. But, uh. I need to check out what's up with that. I'm. I'm. I. Re we are using five. Why does it say three out of eight? Ah, Kabu had. A poison metal on too, but I don't remember buying that metal. Didn't I get a different, or I found a different metal? This one. Yeah, yeah, we found this metal. I, I must have picked this metal up somewhere. But I, I still don't get why it says we're using three out of eight when we're clearly using five points. Is that that's what that's supposed to be saying, right? It's saying that we still have five points to use. Oh, we have three out of eight. Okay. I guess I was thinking of it how like health or, t or TP would work is it would show you how much you have out of, okay. All right. Thank you for clarifying that. Cause I was, Okay. Seems like it'd be an ongoing theme with this game. Like the first two streams, we we wasted time like getting the controller to work. Mostly just the first stream, I guess. 
No, yeah, it was both. And then on this one, we, we wasted time doing a secret boss fight that we are severely underleveled for. Uh, yes, okay. So I guess we go talk to the queen now. Since she's the one who sent us there, if I remember correctly. Why isn't this letting us save? Is that not a save thing? I guess it isn't. It just looked very similar. Let's see. I don't think we found any new books, but let's just go talk just in case. Oh, well, this is the discovery person. We might have found five more. Hey. Um, here we go. Is that the Bug Ranger plushie, the limited one? Indeed. Are you a fan of the Bug Rangers? Well, yes, I love reading the comics. Looks like you found a new friend, Kabu. <laughs> it's always nice to find other people that like the Bug Rangers. I didn't actually think they were going to acknowledge that. Okay. Hello, are you explorers? You're writing down spies and team notes for everything in your library, right? For the best, no need to spy the same enemy twice. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. There you go. Oh, you know, I can tell a bad book miles away. This ain't it. Okay. Alright, so if we find more bad books, remember to bring it to him. Okay. Queen, we did the thing. Can we ask you that big question now? Queen, queen awaits you. It's one thing to make the queen wait, but us as well. Ah, you're here. Come now, the queen's waiting. Okay. So we better talk to, to Queenie. Oh, you've all come. I must say you're just in time. It's really crowded. Those questions will have to wait. Tell us without further ado, Team Snake Mouth. Have you found the artifact hidden in the Golden Hills? Yep, we're ready for that reward. Wonderful. This timing is simply impeccable. I must congratulate you for bringing this artifact to my care. This must be a sign of even more good things to come for the Ant Kingdom and Bulgaria. It was our honor, your highness. Zarian, please collect the artifact and hand them their rewards. As you command, my queen. You have earned this, Team Snake Mouth. Oh, okay. Ooh, and, and cash. <laughs> Thanks again, the V-Bank keeps filling. Oh, may I take a look as we discussed? Yes, make haste, Zariant. Handle it with care, Professor. Of course. Of course. Yes, yes, my research held true. This tablet must contain information on how to find the everlasting sapling. What? But that's just a bunch of blue lines. Ahovi, that's where that mask you found in Snake Mouth comes in. It really was a mask? I thought it was just a weird rock. And so I was right. Don't boast, Kabu. Listen now, the mask is an interpreter. Through it, these lines morph into the roach alphabet. Who cares? <laughs> I cannot tell how it actually works, but the roaches had such marvelous technology. I'm smitten. Wonderful. Very, very wonderful. I, I guess the roaches must be an extinct race in this world. We're making progress in finding the sapling finally. What do you need the everlasting sapling for? That is not for you to know. <laughs> Just know that with it, my mother's dream will come true at last. Elizabeth's dream? Professor, how long will it take you to decipher this tablet? Oh, um, it will be some time, even with the mask. The runes are still in roach script, sorry. I see, fret not, that leaves us with time to retrieve the other artifact. There's another one? Mm-hmm, my research indicates there are three artifacts. With the missing key, we can unlock the everlasting sapling. I figured there was going to be more. Then we're almost at the finish line. Yes, and given what we know, the key should be in the Bee Kingdom. Uh-oh. Really? Long ago, before knowing of its real nature, they used it when building the Honey Factory's core. But I'm not sure if they will give it to us, because taking it out will shut down the whole thing. It'll shut down the factory? But... Do not worry, both of you. We have sent our envoys to the Bee Kingdom ever since you told us about the key. Finally, they have agreed to let us take it in exchange for materials to build a replacement. That is wonderful. Oh joy, then it won't cause them any trouble. 
So the job's trading these materials for the artifact? Precisely, that is your next mission. And luckily a young bee joined your ranks recently. She will be of great help in this mission. Bee. Oh, right. Gee, Team Snakemouth is on a roll, aren't they? It's all fair game, Celia. We have our own tasks to excel at. With that, you are all dismissed. Except Team Snakemouth and Team Celia, I wish to have a word with you. Well, guess we'll be going now. Wish Maki were here. Now I've kept you here to ask about the wasp situation. The professor has mentioned you all helped him when he was attacked. For that, you have my gratitude. We are unworthy, your highness. We only did what any explorer ought to do. So cool. It was worrying, though. They seem to know about the artifacts somehow. Then it is as I feared we are running out of time. You must all remain on guard and avoid the northern border with the wasp kingdom at all costs. As you wish, your highness. To reach the bee kingdom, you must travel southeast from the association and take the first north exit. With my permission, explorers may now cross the passage to the Lost Sands. Be wary, however, the number of bandits on the Lost Sands has been increased lately. Head straight to the defined route as soon as possible to enter the beehive. We will get it done, your highness. Uh-huh. Dismissed. Weren't we supposed to ask a question for Leaf? Okay. <laughs> Chapter 3, Factory Inspection. Okay. Did my controller unplug again? That being said, we do have some things to take care of first. Damn it, I think it did unplug again. Controller, please, come back. I don't know why it keeps doing that right now. Okay, there was no reason for me to be muted right there. I don't know why that happened. Ugh, like I wasn't muted myself. Hang on, I'm moving wires. Ay ay ay. I hope I wasn't muted for that long. I was reading out everything. Um. Anyway. You didn't miss anything, fact. We just started chapter three, and now the controller is unplugged. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Okay, we're back. Um. 
You you didn't miss anything because we we went back to that spot, and apparently it turned out it led to a secret boss that we were severely under leveled for. So it was pointless for us to like we basically wasted half an hour getting to that and fighting it and failing. So you haven't missed anything, Fact. We just barely started uh, chapter three. But we're, we're going to the Bee Kingdom next to find them. Okay, so we, we found one tablet and the mask from the first place is used to decipher the tablet and there's two more tablets that we need to find. Um, so we're headed to the Bee place. I'm theorizing that V was supposed to be the next queen, maybe, and she ditched them, and that's why she's especially apprehensive about returning back to the hive, but that's where we're headed to next. No, it definitely is cool that the game has secret bosses. It's just weird to me that that's the first, or at least one of the first secret bosses that you're able to fight. Because Duskus even said that that boss is like one of the worst boss- it's one of the worst secret bosses in the whole game. Which makes me think like, okay, why- why is this the first one I run into? I don't know. It just seems weird. Um, no new quests. Okay. So, so from here we can take all the quests by talking to that guy. But the other dude didn't seem to be giving me that option. But it would. Hello? You're Todd, right? We've taken your request. No, I didn't find your ball in the tunnel, sorry. So, yeah, so now we are. Oh, I wonder if the metal dude has any new metals now, but I forgot where that is exactly. Does cute bees come to help me? Uh, what do you want though? Oh, your hat! The Oh, the little dude's top hat's missing. So we need to look out for that. Hey Joe, how's it go? Oh, that's the bank, ain't it? I'm going to deposit. Let's hang on to a hundred, because I don't know how much those metals are going to cost if we end up wanting a metal or two. Yeah, it's a very cool hat. I have like 10 or 12 like side quests running at once right now, <laughs> so good chance I'll run into a lot of people who need help. So we still don't have the password for this spot, right? But I kind of want to check it out again just to see if maybe something changes. Oh, scram, never mind. That's rude. I believe the metal dude is down here. All right. Hard hits, raise enemy attacks. Okay, that. Uh, metal by Professor Honeycomb makes enemies unable to steal items. Ooh. Oh, and fleeing won't drop berries. That's cool. You know what? I wish they would tell you how many slots this took up. Maybe if you press A on it. No, they don't tell you how many slots they take up. That's weird. Increases Ali's health by two. Actually, that could be good right now. If I have enough space for it. Seems like considerably more side quests than a typical, typical Paper Mario would have. They have a lot of side quests in Paper Mario, you just can't do them all at the s you can't have them all active at the same time. <laughs> I also didn't like do them do very many when I was streaming because, you know, we got to get through the game at a, at a timely fashion. Who increases the party's TP? 
Now, I just wish I knew how many slots these were going to take up. I think we might have... Okay, we, okay, so this takes up two slots. We have three available. You know what? I think I will grab this, actually. And then I'm going to, like, cycle through a little, a couple more times to see if he has anything else that we might want. What is that? Grants poisoning power to V's needle skills. What? Wait, V doesn't have needle skills. Not yet. I don't think so. How do I check for that? Is there a way to look at our character's special moves and stuff? There should be. That's definitely a thing in uh, Paper Mario. I wonder how viable a metal only run would be. Um, in this, from so far from what I've seen, that would be pretty tricky, but maybe you get some really good medals down the line. All right, let's throw this onto you. There we go. Now everyone has 11. Ooh, hard mode might be good when you're just going through normal enemies that you can beat in one turn anyways. Let's have that turned on for right now. The, the, Duskus, do you know if there's a way, if you're there, do you know if there's a way to look at your team's special moves? Because it doesn't look like there is, which is really weird. Because that's, that's usually a thing in Paper Mario. My controller got disconnected again. I'm not moving though, so I don't know why it's doing that. I hope that doesn't keep happening. Okay, now he's... Uh... I don't even have a controller plugged in. <laughs> I don't know why he's a- he's- mm. Sorry. Give me a second. Now that we know... Ugh. Come on. Sorry, I, I'm waiting for the controller to register again like normal. Because he keeps hitting B over and over again, apparently. <sighs> oh my god. Is there a safe thing nearby so I could just reopen the game? I don't think so. Oh, this is not good. Come on. Why is it... You would think unplugging the controller would stop that, right? Come on, Kaboo, please. Give me a, give me a break here, Kaboo. There we go. I mean, I'm using my keyboard right now. Like, the controller's having a lot of trouble today. Last time I remember, we closed the game and reopened it, but, um... Uh... No, w Walter's not on... Floyd's actually on my bed right now, and he, he doesn't sit on the mouse, usually. <laughs> he's, he's just laying there. Wow, my controller still isn't being registered. I might have to reopen the game next time I get the chance to save, but anyways, yeah, it doesn't look like, um, V is going to get some needle skills eventually, which maybe, maybe means we should, maybe we should get this in advance. Oh, I can't afford it anyways. Alright, we'll just look at a few more, whoops, oh, uh, okay, there's still buttons being 
Man, I need to uh, save and reopen because it is it's glitching out right now, and I don't even have a controller plugged in. I think Davidson said that they were having controller issues with this game a lot too, so maybe that's just a thing, unfortunately. If that's the case, if, if someone wants to play this game, maybe it would be better to get it for like Switch. I should have checked to see if the Switch version was on sale when, when this was on sale, maybe. That might have been a good idea. Oh god, I don't know what button to press to like, to hit it. See, that's not me mashing through it, that's the... None of the buttons are... Attacking. I can jump. I can make that pop up and down. None of the buttons seem to attack, though. Oh, yep, I muted while I was mashing. Sorry, I was trying every button. Um... No, I'm, I'm changing the key bindings. It, it's... A weird thing... I was muted when I said this. It's weird that C is select and enter is return without saving, as if it's, like, decline. Because usually, intuitively, you would think that enter in any computer game would be... to select. So I always end up hitting that by accident and it like goes back. Anyway, the, the X button is not registering for some reason right now, so I'm going to change it to, I don't know, anything else. And then, um... Oh my god, the Okay, it's just the game. The attack button will not come out right now. Remember earlier when the attack button was happening over and over again? Now the attack button just doesn't exist, and you need to use the attack button to save. So... I think I need to... quit. Man! No! Don't tell me we're wasting an hour! Oh... This is the worst start yet. Come on, man. Something glitched out in the game and the attack button is not registering. Oh, that really sucks. Yeah, because you know what? When you're in the menu... Whatever the button is for that, that button works. But when you're outside, it doesn't work. Ah. Oh, man. God. I was muted. Anyway, 
Um, so I, we were able to save it because because I clicked off the game and clicked back on the game, and uh, after I did that, it was able the attack button was was working again, and then um, and then yeah. So, anyways, uh. Okay, okay, let's just hope now we don't have any more issues with the controller. Uh, hey Davidson. Okay, so far so good. Now we're not muted, right? Now you should be able to hear me. Yeah, we've been like having... Man, it's part three, you would think at this point we'd be fine. But we've had the biggest delay in any of the parts so far, an hour. But part of that was because I wasted half an hour fighting a secret boss that I was underleveled for. So, um... Just gonna check out a couple more of these, see if there's anything else. It's interesting that they offer this metal before we can use it. I wonder if... You know what would be interesting? If you could buy a metal you can't use yet, and then later in the game when you when you can first use it, the metal costs more. So you could like buy it early. No, yeah, you came at a good time, Davidson. Hello. Uh, are you sure about this, Levy? This is pretty dangerous. Celia, Kabu, and the others have found enough artifacts to prove their skill. You tell her, what's the job? Pays well? It's worth the trouble. The situation is we're after this criminal known as Monsor Scarlet. Every now and then he posts requests on the board asking for help and then preys upon the well-meaning explorers draining their life force. Oh no. Okay, you guys can hear me, that's good. Yikes, we expected a petty burglar or something of that sort. Sadly not, he's even the reason why the old tunnel to the Golden Hills is abandoned. He's caused us a lot of trouble. This fellow sounds most vile. We should be honored to help you bring justice. We've gathered enough intel to confidently say his hideout is in that old tunnel. Really, how can someone hide in a straight hallway? If you offer us your help to catch him, it'll become clear. Please, he's not someone we can apprehend alone. Sounds like some frozen over with doom. Some good. Leave it to us. Okay. At least wait until the mission's over to praise them. <laughs> Going to the tunnel now. I don't even know where that tunnel is, so... Yeah, I was I was mentioning that before. So Davison said that my friend bought this game for me on PC a year ago. I honestly might wait to get it for console because all the controller issues I was having. So I mean, it's good to know that it, it's not just me. All oh, right, this place goes in a circle. I completely forgot. It's weird because it doesn't feel like it's shaped like a circle, but it is. So I'm just gonna throw my the rest of my money into the bank for now. Wait, I have 158. Oh, wait, why? Didn't we just buy a metal? I could have sworn we bought a metal. They cost enough money that our berry... Oh, that's how much money we have in the bank. Okay, I'm dumb. All right. Okay. Um... Wait, 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 wait. How much do you want to add to your balance? And then they tell us the account rather than how much we... Oh no, it's down on the... Okay, I got you. Sorry, I'm just out of it right now. Give me give me a second to get back into the groove of things. Oh, my, my mic was blocking the bottom right of the screen, so I didn't immediately see that there was the berry counter right there. All right. Let's just, just get this show on the road and figure out where we're going next. It's probably down here somewhere, I'm guessing. But no, that's exactly what I was saying earlier, Davidson, that um, if someone wants to get this game, I, I feel like it'd be good to uh, probably consider getting the a console version just to avoid controller issues. Alright, so... Oops. Okay. 
Okay, so... These... All lead to other places, so I don't think we want to go this way. Maybe this is where we want to go. Lost Sands. I believe we needed to go through the Lost Sands to get to the Bee Kingdom. So, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, head this way. If you got it on console, you might still be messing up on the button prompts. Yeah, you're probably right. I, I would have to get used to that. I remember the first time I, whoa, I clearly had trouble with that was when um, I was playing Deadly Premonition of all things. <laughs> that was like the one thing in the game that, that, that was killing me was the, uh, the quick time events. Stop, there you go. Oh, we killed it. We killed the thing we've never fought before. All right, seems fair enough. The chapters are gonna get longer then we have a problem because I am really behind on, on starting this chapter. I mean, do you have a, an estimated time for how long the chapters will take? Because if the last chapter took me four hours and they get longer, I don't think I'm going to be able to do whole chapters and, and single nights anymore. But um, I looked up the estimated t uh, gameplay f time for this game and it didn't seem like it would be that long. So maybe you, you could be maybe overestimating it. Whoa, thanks. We were stuck here for a while. It wasn't much. We'll get going now. See you in Defiant Root. Uh, be careful now. This one will take like six knowing you. Knowing me? Hey, I, I'm, I'm... Well, when it comes to Paper Mario, I'm pretty good, okay? I uh, I did the pit of a hundred trials and everything. I I don't think you 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 caught my thousand your door streams, but I was used to that game. Hey, it's you two or three again, Venus. Yes, that's me. I decided to help you in your quest. Really, you're gonna beat up stuff with this? Also, I actually beat thousand your door and under the estimated uh. Completion time. I'm not a combat goddess, but I can heal you up in no time. You know, for a small offering of eight berries. Okay, so instead of an inn. Why would a goddess need money? Listen, Ari and my followers want to thrive in life too, and they are too dedicated to me to get other jobs, so it's the least I can do for them. Besides, eight berries is nothing like for adventurers like you. Sounds like a fair deal, team. It helps us and Venus's followers. Just shove the berries in this bud's mouth when you want some healing, all right. Yeah, what does a goddess need money for? She should just be able to like make money appear magically. Well, it actually was my first time playing through the Pit of 100 Trials, but the game I had obviously beaten before. I, I I have Paper Mario physically. That's actually how I streamed. I streamed the game on my actual copy of the game, which is apparently pretty expensive now. All right, the Lost Sands. It's been a while. They're way too huge. It's gonna take ages. It'd be nice if we could just we could move just a bit faster. Well, why not just run? If we tap B twice with me at front. What? I didn't know that. I'll give it my all. Whatever gets us out of here faster. That's good to know. Okay, so now he's got an upgrade. Got it. Now dash through skill. Ah. 
I like how V gets a special modified upgrade from a scientist, and Kabu's just like, I'm going to run fast now. Now I have a special move. Uh, Explorers, the queen has allowed you to go through. Go on in. Please do be careful. The number of bandits roaming the sands has been increasing. Right, we heard that. Reach a defiant route. Keep going northwest to the base of the big tree. Do not approach the wasp kingdom border to the northeast. Stay clear from it. Okay, so we want to go northwest. Hello. Ah, the gate opened, but I can't go to the desert yet. I'm still preparing for my journey. If you plan on crossing the desert, keep in mind it's much bigger than it seems. Everywhere you look, there's sand. Keep a mental map when you plan on crossing. Now, this is getting me dry, dry desert um, vibes. They added the running in a patch that came after I beat the game. Really, that's weird because um, when it Kabu should get a, a, a new special move just like the other characters, right? So, so does that mean you got a special skill but you couldn't actually run outside of battle? Oh yeah, this is definitely dry, dry desert vibes. A giant fork or a giant comb. Uh, we'll let V spy. Okay, one defense. It's a Psycorp. I think their poison can make some nice items. Let's not beat it up too bad or no one will buy it. Leaf, get it out if it goes under. Okay. I see. Oh, we froze one of them. Um, see if we, you can be flipped over. Nope. Oh well. Okay, so it's underground. But, apparently... Wait, that didn't work. So what? which of Leaf's moves were we supposed to use to get... I can't suppose Kabu could dig... No, can't dig him up. Huh. Maybe the basic attack? Let's, uh, rally. Rally. I always say rally. Because I think that's a thing you could do in Paper Mario is rally. Team relay. Try that. Okay, that didn't work. Yeah, I, yeah, I thought that would have been it, Fac, because a ice spike shooting up through the ground, but apparently not. Hmm. So why did they say Leaf get it out of the ground? Unless it's a move that Leaf doesn't have yet, but it's just weird. You think this? I don't know. Ow! Ow! Don't have the timing for those attacks down yet at all. Okay, let's just. Oh wait, dash through! I forgot there was a new dash through. So great! Something that damages all grounded enemies. That's And it flips them! See, I should have used that to begin with, but I... I, I uh, already forgot that we got it. I'll have to try that next time. Maybe that's the move that flips them the whole time. Is that you need to... We needed to be using the charge attack, but we just didn't have it yet. Okay, well, V could definitely use that crunchy leaf right about now. Is this the one that keeps digging that we haven't fought yet and dies in one hit? Oh, it didn't die that time. 
Yeah, because I wanted to spy on this. I wanted to spy on this little guy. Underling. These seedlings burrow? Uh, it's gotta be karma for all those flying seedlings. Help me out, Leaf. Alright. Once again, they, they refer to Leaf being able to dig out an enemy that's dug into the ground. Alright, but well, we're gonna try dash through. Keep pressing it to fill the bar, okay? Hey, they didn't flip over though. Oh well. Maybe they just mean enemies that can be flipped over. Um. Should I try frigid? This is the only other move. We'll try it just to see. It might probably be a waste of TP. Oh, nope, that did it. So you need to use frigid coffin specifically. But it's so weird because you wouldn't assume that that's the move you have to use, especially since your base move comes out of the ground. You'd think that the uh, when you tattle, they would say, Leaf's ice coffin would do the trick instead of just saying, Leaf, get them out. That's that's a, a little strange. Um, sorry if it sounds like I'm being like uh, critical. I'm not trying to put the game down. I'm just like when I when I'm there's little things that I'm just like pointing out whenever I notice them. Oh yeah, we need we need more TP so that. Leaf can do their thing. Frigid Coffin is what it's called, rather. That's a new enemy, but- Oh! I fell into a hole. Well, we should fight it if it's new, actually. Whoops, it actually hit me. Oh, there's two new enemies. Ow. I don't even know if I could spy on that, uh underground one right now. Uh, oh, we can. If I remember correctly, this local beast always stays beneath the sand waiting to devour prey. His teeth are so sharp they can bite through stone. Leaf, will need your says Yeah, Leaf. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a reviewer brain thing, I guess. Like, it's... Believe me, you'll know if I'm, like, really disliking something about a game or I'm, like, going in on it. Uh, Alright, well first is Well, I can't freeze them both. The underground one is going to... I guess we gotta take care of the digging one, because when they're underground like that, they seem to do a lot of damage. So, let's deal with that first. Hey, it froze. Good. And then we will spy on that second one. The cactling. Seriously, this is a seedling? I just don't get science sometimes. It's a bit too tough for the beamerang. Better let Kaboo handle it. Okay. It's got a lot of defense, basically. Okay. Well, I hope we have enough skill points to... Yep, just enough. Yeah. It looks kind of like a... Uh... It looks a little like a, uh, a Cubone or a Marowak, like the little skull face. See, I know a thing or two about Pokemans. Speaking of, has Demon Turf been giving you a lot of trouble in the final act? Um, no, no, it hasn't. Uh, I mean, I, I finished Demon Turf. I just need to finish writing the script. I've been slowly kind of working on that. 
because I just had a lot of other stuff going on. It did flip, Duskus, you're right. I'm glad it flipped. It's so round it can't it can't get back up. It's like Walter. Um Is that a thing that people have been having trouble with, Fak? One thing about the final act, I would say that uh like there's a level before the final boss, I'll just say that. Which you kind of figured they were gonna do that. They were gonna put in something that made you utilize all your different skills. The actual final level isn't super hard. There's nothing in it that's really crazy challenging, but they do make it so you don't know how long it's going to be. So you don't know where to place your checkpoints down. So it's very easy to, to prematurely put your checkpoints down. And then there's still a long stretch to go before the end. That's the one thing about the final level that I it almost made me restart, but I, I was too stubborn, so I just kept going. Um, the difficulty curve is weird. I actually beat the final boss on my first attempt back. So, first boss was tricky because I didn't know how to use the, the item that you get really yet, and the boss itself was a little weird sometimes. Second boss was kind of tricky, be like he's, even if you know how to use the item, it's just tough. Third boss was really, really easy. Fourth boss was really, oh, like to me was overwhelming and, and like I don't know what the heck I was doing most of the time. And then the final boss, I beat it on my first try. And I'm not, I won't say what it, what, what it is because I don't want to spoil it. I'm not going to go into it visually at all, but I, I will probably mention that I, I beat it as quickly as I did. I wonder if I could run over the hole. No, probably not. We just probably go down this way. Um. Oh, I thought we put that metal on. Yeah, we do have it on. See, hard mode. I, I actually forgot that I had it on, though. Wait a minute, didn't we just come from that way? Did we go left or right? I think we went left. So this is a maze. Hey, you look familiar. My research points to a relic being in the area, but I've hit a dead end. Could there be a path I haven't noticed yet? Probably. Same for us. I can see where they added in a running ability here. Oh, a giant soda can, that's right, because we're bugs. I wasn't even thinking about uh, the, the metal. Oh, look it, it's our buddies. It's the big boy and the normal size. It's team, not slacker. Oh, hey, nice going at the festival. Wait. It's team, not slacker. That's what we said. Anyways, nice going at the festival. You really did come all the way out here. You remember our talk? We think this here's the fabled sand castle. What, this brick? Well, yes, this tablet's just waiting for its secret to be unearthed. Think it's just gonna come out of the sand? Maybe, no clue what's inside, but what good castle has no treasure? So how does it come out? Sorry, we don't know yet, and when we do, we've got to tell the queen. Aww. It's still good to see a familiar face in the desert. Well now, take care on your mission. I'm sure we'll meet when we figure this out. They're so friendly with each other. There's all something could fit in here. Surely the roaches were a fan too. This should work. Stop, you're getting sand all over it. I love how the bug ranger plushie is has special dialogue for so many different instances. Um, next time you're in Ant Town, go to that place where the game started. Right, there's that guy who said, like, let's see how, how many things you've done with it, right? 
You only get hard mode rewards if you beat bosses with it on. Really? I thought it was just any enemy. Okay, we must get like a gliding ability or something because we are running into some gaps that we definitely cannot cross yet. Maybe uh, Leaf gets it since Leaf hasn't gotten any new, new skills yet. Okay, I'm trying to remember where we came up from. Wait, so there's no reason to have the badge on right now? Is that what you're telling me? Or are we getting bonuses just from fighting them right now? And then... Oh, I think I see here then. I must have missed that on the other spot. Okay, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying now. We'll probably have that turned off just for convenience factor because I'm sure we could beat bosses with it on, but better to not risk it and, you know, make sure we can progress through the game at a good pace. So I'll probably end up turning that off when we get to the bosses then. So this leads down here. But what good does that do me? Wait a minute. There's a way to get up here. I wonder if... Uh, if they were frozen at a lower point. Not low enough. Aha! There we go. No, turning it off on the bosses, because I'm saying that we want to be safe. We don't want to have to, like, you know... Like I said, I'm sure I could beat bosses with it on, but, like, there's a higher chance of me failing than having to restart the whole fight. Tardigrid Shield Metal? Grants the equipped alley the sturdy skill, which increases defense by three? And grants status immunity for one turn. Wow. This must take up a lot of slots. Increases defense by three. That's a lot. This is it, the lost uh, tardigrade. Legends say these bugs can live for countless generations. They're also microscopic. Not that I've ever seen one. Weird place to put a statue, right? Well, to be fair, Duskus, if they were that important, I'm sure we would have been... You would have reminded me to turn it on before that first boss fight, right? So therefore, I can assume that they're not that important. Weird place to put a statue. Maybe this place looked much different and only the relic withstood the test of time. Hey, at least we found something we could use here. A metal, huh? So this was a metal covered in dust. Fascinating. I'll have to write up a hefty report. Should we uh, hand it over? No way. Mm, would you mind testing its properties on the field? I don't really mind if you keep it. Got the data I wanted already. Cool, thanks, Hawk. Once I'm done with my research in the desert, I shall head back to the hive. Uh, may we meet again? I don't know, because... I couldn't even deal with the first secret boss we ran into. Like, I wasn't even close to beating it, so... I assume be fighting a boss on a hard... Like, setting... Would be comparable to that. Well, we just never had it turned on in the first place. I think I had it turned on once, and the first enemy I tried to fight became invincible. <laughs> Because their defense was too high for any of our attacks. So I had no choice but to turn it off. Um, okay, so we can come up here. But then we can't... Can we, like... No. Oh! Now we can do something with this here.
Hmm. I don't know if we need like another attack to come back to this later. Yeah, I would say the base difficulty of this game is is a bit harder than uh, Paper Mario. I would agree with that. So we 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 figured out how to get the optional thing, but now we need to actually find. Uh... So we save here. Wait a minute. All oh, right, right. There's still this that we can't cross yet, as far as I can tell. Okay, there has to be a way to approach from the left, judging by the way that tree falls. So there must be a way to get around the other side. Yeah, if only Tangerine. Whoops. Alright, we'll just fight you guys real quick. Oh no, I don't have my dash through. I'm gonna end up using all my items before we even get to the dungeon. Uh, can I jump into the giant sand pit? I believe so, but I don't think we want to do that, if I had to guess. What the? I just got right back up. Ouch. We're, we're pretty hurt, actually. Okay, um... I'm just gonna like take you out first of all, so there's one left. And then I'm gonna use a uh, secret stash to heal Kabu a bit. I like how secret stash implies that V always has some items that she's holding out on us. Yeah, I mean, I might take the, off the hard badge once we level up again, so just so that way we're getting through the fights a little easier, because I keep forgetting it's turned on, to be honest. Alright, so... Okay, there's got to be a way to approach... ...from the left. Did I never go back? Oh, I never came up here. Okay. We were talking about... Oh, I thought if you charged into it, that would stun it, but I guess not. Dang. Hopefully this freezes them. Oh, well, froze one of them. Probably want to flip over the spiky, I feel like. Ah, oh, I thought that'd do more than one damage. party. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, because if you're the last person fighting, you can't do that. Huh? No, yeah, I need to check out the tar the tardigrade. I, I forgot about that, too. Um. Kaboo might get knocked out right now. That's okay, Kobe. That's okay. 
Oh no, wait. Oh yeah, right. It, even though it's flipped over, it just gets right back up. Okay. Yeah, because that, that metal would help us an insane amount. So we should definitely check. Oh, I'll check that out right now. We are getting a lot of XP though, so that's good. What? What? That's... Pardon? What? It takes up one? I would have thought at least five places. Unless defense works differently in this game than I realize, we've just effectively made Kaboo invincible to so many enemies. Okay. Let's see, do I have any basic healing? I have the revive. I wonder if we use this outside of battle. Yeah, we just don't fall asleep. That's cool. We were talking. The song reminds me of. Uh, Somewhat of a George Harrison song, occasionally. Well, it's a Beatles song, but it's George Harrison. Ah, I fell. Wait, it costs T O and a you mean T P and a turn to use? Wait, let me read that again. Increases defense by three. Grants status immunity for one turn. It doesn't say anything about costing that, but I guess we'll just see in battle how it works exactly. Oh, it's a skill! I see what you're saying. Okay. Converting extra turns into HP. Converting extra? What do they mean, converting extra? It's only for one turn, but it could- it, it would make us- that's still good for one turn, though. Okay, I- I get it now. In fact, if we taunt and use Sturdy, that could really help if we- direct whatever big damage might be happening towards Kabu only. But the bosses seem to do big attacks that attack everyone anyways. So that may only help in special circumstances. Okay, so for now... Gotta get you out of the ground with our one attack that does that. And then... But then, you know what? I'm gonna turn relay. And, uh, let's. Let's try it again. <laughs> hey! Well. Man, see, this is like, I wish... Well, I guess that's the thing, in Mario, you there is an additional, like, star power meter that you can, like... Say you have nothing else to do in a turn. First off, you have the option to defend, which is just like, okay, that's good. If you have nothing else, you could give yourself a little more defense for a turn. And then they have the option to wish to increase the star power a little bit. So there's always, like, something you can do, but... Sometimes, for here, it seems like you really only... Well... Hmm... Because I can't kill any of them in one hit right now, and if I hit them, they'll break out of the ice. So... I kind of don't want to do anything, if you get what I'm saying. Let me see, do we have any items we might want to use? Not really. Or maybe if there's like a rest option where you could like... 
purposely go to sleep for a turn and, and heal a little. I'll just spy again. Never did like these blasted Psycorps leaf user magic to unearth them. We must be careful for they may faint before striking us with poison or sedatives. Okay. Wait a minute! Oh, I didn't realize I had two, two people left. I thought I was down to just V. I'm dumb. Well, I could have killed one of them actually, probably. Ah, uh, whatever. Arrow worm, it's buried all the time, so I can't be super sure. Yeah, okay. Alright, now. Duska said, again, this game is made specifically for experienced Paper Mario fans. Well, that's the weird thing, Duskus. I'm very experienced with the first two Paper Mario games. And I still, there's, there's enough little differences that this actually throws me off a lot of the times. Like it's, 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 I feel like if anything, it's because I know Paper Mario so well that the things that are different, like actually screw me up occasionally. I don't know. At least that's just the feeling I get. Mo for the most part, like, yeah, the game is definitely like, it is Paper Mario, like right on the dot, but. There we go. Oh, I thought we killed it. I thought that it spun to death. And now it's buried. And we can't get it out. But hang on, it... it... Hmm. It's got to come out of the ground eventually, right? Or else we can't kill it now because I don't have TP for this. It's interesting. Hang on. Yeah, it lets us aim at it with leaf. Okay, that time it hit it. Huh. Earlier leaf's base attack didn't affect the underground enemy. So now I'm wondering if that was... I wonder if that was a glitch, or if that's... There's a chance that you can hit it, and a chance you could miss. I think that's definitely one of the things that, like, okay, so... One of the reasons that I love Paper Mario so much is that it's so simple that once you learn how to play, you know precisely what everything is going to do, and everything that's going to happen, and exactly how much damage you need to deal for every little thing, because the numbers are so small. And a lot of bigger RPGs are like, you did 1,472 damage. And then the one thing in this game that really throws me off is that there's a lot of things that I don't quite understand exactly, or I don't have memorized. Like right there, like the, the digging up, hitting the underground enemy, which didn't work before with leaf space base attack, but this time it did. What the heck am I looking at right now? Thief? It's just called Thief. Okay. Darn it. Flying Thief keeps stealing my favorite snacks and I can't reach him at all. Quick, team. We must defeat him before he uses them for himself. Oh, no! It's a freaking bandit. Look how much health it has. That's way too much health. I'm not gonna be able to kill it in time. No, well, fact, I did I did it perfectly and it still didn't hit it. That's what threw me off. And I tried a couple different moves too, I think. But I do like that it's different too. Um, I like that it's different because it, it obviously you don't want it to be exactly like like Paper Mario. It's not that, though, fact, because I, I, I hit Kabu's basic attack perfectly most of the time, and it's still, that doesn't flip the enemies. Because believe me, I, I thought that as well, but I've, I've done it enough times at this point.
Well, I thought about that, Duskus, except Kabu can't attack the Airborne one anyways, so it doesn't really matter. At least in this instance. Um... Okay, I thought that Leaf could hit the Airborne one with the base attack, but I guess not. Uh, I don't want to fight these guys, actually. I just, I just, I kind of just don't want to. So I think I'm just going to run. Forgot you have to do a freaking... That type of combination they have you do to flee would be like one of the later ultra attacks you, inputs you would have to do in Paper Mario. Like just to un, un, initiate a super powerful attack. Um, so it's really weird to me that they make that the escape thing. Because think about it like this. You're more likely to try to escape battle if maybe you're you're not as experienced of a player and you're having a lot of trouble so you have to flee a lot. And so you're also going to more, be more likely to, to fumble the escape command. So that just seems like it would be frustrating for people who need it the most to, to run away. It almost reminds me of how in Devil May Cry where you get you get uh, punished for not knowing how to play the game, but then it makes it harder to learn how to play the game because you can't get new moves to learn how to play the game. So you're right, Venus healing, we could definitely use that. Now is our TP going to go up as well? Because that could be really sick. I'm guessing no, but we'll just heal anyways. Oh, they, we did get our TP back. Okay, cool. Great. If it isn't those peppy explorers, hiya. Hey, Team Snake Mouth, how's it going? Well, it's a bit hot. You're traveling to Defiant Route as well? Yep, we're on a mission to protect those merchants, specifically our dear Snail. We could fight or run, but this one's pretty wimpy. Aw, the poor pet snail. It's been a super good day, though. Easiest mission we've ever had. Hehehe, <laughs> you jinxed it! Oh, who's it gonna be? Who are they? Wasps? But who's that one in the middle? Dang it, Airy. Bandits. You've got some nerve trying to mug us. Dear, it's okay. We can make the money back. Don't get hurt for... As if. I'd rather go down fighting than yield to these scoundrels. Is that like a big ladybug? You speak brave words for a powerless merchant. This is your last chance to surrender to the wasp kingdom. Like, we'd let you take anything. Yeah, it's time to show what we can do. Bleh, merchants are so greedy. Can't share just a few things. Now we're gonna have to take it all. Hmm, those three. They're the ones from the report. That'll pay a pretty penny. Let's capture them. This music is so sinister. You will keep your vile limbs away from my friends. Let's kick their butt. Let's go. Let's rock, baby. Okay, so we haven't spied on the first and second ones yet, so I'm pretty curious to see what they look like. Um, I'll spy with everyone except Leaf. That way I can try to freeze them all. But I'll try to- I'll move Leaf to the front. Moving doesn't cost anything, right? Like, if you just... Um... Like, that didn't cost any turn or anything, yeah? Oh, you actually see an arrow on Leaf up there, which would indicate the front person has the extra damage. I'm just seeing- I'm just noticing that for the first time. That, that's a good visual clue to remind... Um... Okay, so let's spy on these, these fellows. Burglar. I am Burglar. Oh, this is bad. Burglars are the worst. I can't believe how fast they can tackle being so big. They're tough and good at stealing too. I hate them. Let's finish this quick. Okay. Wasp Scout. Thief. Scoundrel, I will give you a chance to retreat before V knocks you down. No? Nope. Then face our wrath before V knocks you down. Even if you call for reinforcements, we won't falter. 
That's right, I guess because V can reach. I'm never not surprised that Let's Rock Baby has entered your vocabulary even after the mediocre time you had with DMC. Because it's just so... It's so cheesy and bad that I can't get it out of my head. Like, wait, this is the character that everyone thinks is really cool? Or it rather, like, was supposed to be portrayed as being really cool? Or maybe he is cooler in the other games, but in the first game, he's a big dork for sure. And I think it's just emphasized by the fact that you know he's not supposed to be a big dork, but he totally is a big dork. Oh no! You stole my thing! Bad. Well, it's a good visual clue when, when you realize it's there, but I've just... I, I have this problem when I'm playing something for the first time and there's a lot of stuff on the screen. My, my brain, like, blanks out a lot of stuff and I just... I just don't see things. Um... Like, this is Paper Mario, but the layout is completely different. Like, even the turning to pick your items is different. I mean, it's essentially the same, but it looks completely different. Um, anyway, let's try to freeze them again, because that's a good thing to do. And then Kabu, you can do your dash through. That was a rhyme. Yeah. So unfortunately V, from what I recall, doesn't have any attack everyone type moves. We could turn relay just to spread the damage out even though it'll... Uh, yeah, let's do that. Screw it. We'll give it back to Leaf. Leaf's in the front anyways, so that should maybe balance things out a bit. Alright. Um... Take care of that wasp first since it's already almost dead. So he's a dork in the other games, but they lean into the dorkiness in a more satisfying way. That's good. Does he talk about, like, filling people's darkness or something? Or did, does he stop with that nonsense? Because that was kind of, that was kind of sus, I'm not going to lie. Leveled up. Oh, I forgot. We just we had the hard badge on too. I think I'm gonna take it off now just for the sake of giving ourselves a little bit of an easier time. Um, you know, you weren't lying when you said TP was very important in this game. Like, man, it's really important. More than Paper Mario, like for sure. Like, I think it's just the fact you only get one health point for everyone. It makes it. Like, it's good, but it just, it's hard to pass up TP for that. And then we just don't really have many medals to where we need more medal points most of the time. So, I'm just gonna get more TP. Oh, we could carry more items, that's great. Sweet. We didn't need to find a giant's an adult wallet or anything. What's that a giant's wallet? Or giant sword? There is a giant wallet, I think, but not giant's wallet. In DMC5, he gets a magic hat and does a Michael Jackson dance. Well, that's good, I suppose. Get my phone so I can keep track of the time. Oh, wow, it's still bar barely 7.30. Sweet. Starting early helped a lot. Okay, Blast, we've got to go back and report this. I'm uh, still getting paid, right? Shut it, let's go. You, we won't forget this. Oh, that was terrifying. Thank you. So we're gonna get like a special discount since we helped. Thanks, Team Snake Mouth. <laughs> we were gonna be fine. They were weaklings. You're welcome. 
Those wasps are showing up more, huh? It's worrying indeed. We should report this as soon as we're able. We're just humble merchants. We can't help too much. But we are still very grateful for your help. This isn't much, but take it. I hope we run into like... Because apparently these are supposed to be like the star pieces of the game. But in Mario Party, you're generally able to use the star pieces early on. We've been collecting a lot of these. We haven't been able to, to use them yet. So I'm curious to see when we get to use them. <laughs> Didn't even need to ask this time. Oh, Of course, you won't find merchants in debt. With this, we're even. We can keep the merchants safe from here. We're almost at the town. Yeah, don't let us slow you down. You would never, but thank you. We'll keep going now. Safe travels. Okay. Joe Retro said DMC3 Dante is the best version of Dante, apparently. Why is that the best version? Tell me your reasonings. Let's see. Should we heal? Oh, look, we auto healed after that battle. Funny how you auto heal after that, but not after a, an actual boss fight. It's like another one of those little things where I just don't quite get, but that's fine. Succulent Berry. Ooh, it quenches thirst for hours, restores 2 HP to an ally for 3 turns. So it's like a slow shroom, I think they're called in Paper Mario. Probably end up fighting this guy. There wasn't anything in those bushes anyways. Oh, the level up healed us. Okay, that makes more sense. That's true. I could have sworn we, we've healed from other battles too, though, but I don't remember. Up ahead is the border with the Wasp Kingdom. If you're looking for Defiant Root, head west. Okay, so we want to go west. Whoops, I almost went east. I live on the west coast. I should know, <laughs> I should know this. True, the hard mode metal. I know. I like that we, we can level up faster, but uh, we are getting kind of pummeled, so I think I will turn it off for now. I wish there was a hard mode metal you got that early in the game in, pa in Paper Mario. Because in that game, I feel like I could be uh, pulling it off a lot better. Oh, we're going to fight, probably. Wait. Why should you just fight him now? Because now he's not hard. Should have nearly as much trouble. Um. Where was Scooby Doopy Doo? Boom! 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 Bang! 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 I think this should finish off. Yeah. You're next, buddy. I ain't gonna hit ya. I ain't gonna hit ya. I'm gonna do nothing. That way, now I can hit ya. With everyone. What? Okay. I didn't think you'd be able to just dig underground in the middle of a before it's their turn. I think that's another thing. The enemies in this game tend to, to... They're a lot more active during our turn instead of doing more stuff on their own turn. Which I feel isn't as common. And, uh... In Paper Mario. I suppose it could be that the fact they got hit made them dig underground, but like... It's rare you see an enemy do that in, uh, in Paper Mario, from what I remember. There we go.
Ja, 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 da da You know what? Screw it. Screw it! There's really no reason for me to be doing this, but... Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. In fact, I should have switched and attacked the underground one since they do more damage, but... It's fine. It's their version of how you defend the against attacks. Yeah, kind of. Hey, we made it to a town. It's good to be back. Oh yeah, you mentioned staying here back with Neo. That means we've been neighbors all along. Life truly is full of small surprises like that. Ah, cute. Anyways, how do we get to the hive? We just keep going straight. There's a huge elevator there. Is it safe? No one's fallen off yet, so it's probably safe. Let's go get this over with already. It's easy to say for you when you have wings. Venus, watch over me. Welcome travelers to Defiant Root. This town's name comes from the big tree's root breaking through the lost sands. I know that already. Just doing my job. It's like a Walmart greeter. Isao's clinic. First consult is free. That's a lot of potions. Hello. Hey, welcome. What's troubling you? We're not sick, just passing by. That's okay. If you're ever feeling bad, drop by. First consult's free. Oh, I guess we don't need this yet. Someone's gonna get sick. It's a, a bee. Nope, I don't want to talk to her. V. What did she ever do to you? Great, she's here too. Wonder what she's up to. Don't know, don't care. Isn't V being a bit too mean? Well, there must be some reason why V doesn't like that bee. The bakery in this town is the best. By mixing flour with different ingredients, it's possible to create so many different pastries, I must taste all of them. Maki's still gone. I'm starting to get worried. He never takes this song to complete a mission. I'm certain he's fine. Or maybe he... Shut up, he's fine. Have we met Maki? I'm for sure we did, I just forget what they look like. No, I know that's the same B. Uh, cause V was before acting very, uh, unhappy about the fact they existed. Chris B. Chris B. The ultimate dish. A tangy berry from the exotic golden ceiling. Do we, don't we have the tangy berry? Do we use that? I feel like we used that. National accessory from the Bee Kingdom. Let me check. Mm, it might be in storage. Oh, Maki was the tutorial fight, gotcha. Yeah, the name sounded familiar. I'll just... Oh, hang on, let me just talk to them and maybe I could take them all at once. No, yeah, you can't take them all at once from other places, only the main... The first one, for some reason. It's weird. Oh, maybe I was supposed to talk to the little guy. Never mind. But in the other place, the other guy didn't didn't uh, seem to offer that either, so I don't know. Zzz. Zzz. Oh, it's Morty's Bed Bug Rental System. Welcome. A bed bug rental service? Sir, what exactly do you mean? It's all the... In the name. This pill bug here is incredible, I tell ya. Hey, okay, don't compare pill bugs to bed bugs. That is messed up. Pill bugs are little cute little roly boys. Bed bugs are horrible. Bed bugs are, are demons. If you're tired, he'll lull you to sleep and heal you fully. Let's rent it, team. Seriously, this sounds like a huge scam. But the pill bug. Look, I don't ever do this, but if it'll earn your trust. First rental's free, how's that? As soon as you sleep though, he'll come back to me. Oh, you, it's portable. 
Okay. That's neat. Cool. I don't like that it's called Bedbug. Why did they have to name it that? Don't forget we must return him. Okay. I could have sworn I wanted to hang on to the Tangy Berry. And you said that you could buy them, right? You said that... Oh no, don't worry, you could eat a J. You could just buy one. But that dude makes it seem like they're only found in one place. Anyways, we have berry juice. Hello. Kabu! Safer visit. Mayor, thank you. I'm currently on a mission, however, I'll come back again. Anytime, Kabu. Bring your friends too. I, I understand the word play. I, I appreciate what they're going for. But I still hate the name. That was a miracle seed. Okay. So we never found a tangy berry then. We get a lot of B Taurus since we're clo so close by, but we don't really return the favor. I've been thinking of going on an adventure up there by myself. It's hard to find a time. Not like he's missing much. Museum of the Ancients. Hello. Oh, welcome, welcome. This is Defined Roots, one and only museum. Ancient artifacts or historic pottery. We take pride in all of it. Wow. Tools of war? These weird pins were found buried in the desert ages ago. Those are jacks. Historians deduce that these tools were made by either roaches or giants. As for their use, they might have been used as traps to keep invading troops away during times of war in these very lands. No consensus has on their use or creation methods has been reached yet. Even the ball for, to play jacks with. The first pot, when Defiant Root was first founded, many termites and potter wasps came to these lands seeking new soil. The union of those two clay artisan species made to the creation of all Defiant Roots buildings and our land's famous clay pots. If you're interested, please consider purchasing your very own masterfully crafted clay pot as a souvenir. Perfect home decoration so you'll always remember your visit to our proud settlement. Not really much of a museum there. Oh, this person looks sad. Let's talk to them. Hey, I hope you're having a good day. Please be careful, okay? Aww. Something seems off about this young lady. Hmm, her leg. Ah, we should probably shut up. I pray she did not hear us gossip. Oh, does she have a, an artificial leg? Um, those do look like the kind of barricades you put up to slow troop movements. Well, I guess they made a good guess. Can we jump on the sign? Wait. Making sure we can't jump over there. Ah, uh, we can't. You see, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to buy a a broken hammer and a dried shroom so that we can uh you know initiate the password was there something behind the boxes i thought there was i thought there might be i was thinking in my head of how in paper mario that happens a lot you'd find like star pieces back there but oh okay i didn't go far enough in you you look like you might be interested in this spicy berries i have some 16 berries of pop you in no i wanted to see how duskus would react to that I should have played it off further. Oh, it's that thing, okay. Well, that's a decent item. I don't think I really needed it though. I forgot that that was one I already had. We'll, we'll have to use those for a boss fight. Or maybe like a big fight, like a mini boss fight. It's weird there was a dude back there just for that. I was hoping it'd be something like special. Welcome to T and W's Inn. It's four berries per bug to stay the night. No oh, thanks. There's the song lady. Uh, so you've come back V on a mission from what I can tell? Uh-huh, get us up. 
Sure thing. Hop on, explorers. We're not done talking about your issues, V. We're just saving it for later. Drop it. Seriously, I don't want to talk about it. V. Oh, wait. I wasn't ready. I just talked to that guy because he had an exclamation point on his head. Oh, well. We'll check out the rest of that, that room later. Or that screen, rather. Look, V. Even if you don't like them, it can't be that bad. Indeed. We'll protect you if they speak poorly of you. Ha ha ha. That's not really going to happen, you know? Huh? So they don't tease you? Just, uh, a little bit. V, could it be the hive has done nothing to you? Nonsense. Why would she be so unwilling otherwise? He's right. I am? The hive didn't do anything. I did. V, what did you do? My sister kept teasing me, okay? Saying explorer is a job for other bugs. That it was too dangerous and that I couldn't do it. So I got really mad and said a lot of mean stuff to her and ran off. Told my boss to shove it, told the queen she had no idea what I'm capable of. V. So in this story, you're the mean one? Kinda. They had it coming, though. That's great. It is? All you have to do is say you're sorry and it'll get fixed. No way. Even if I was super mean, they still tease me all the time. I'm not gonna say sorry. Not even to your close sister, it's your family. She could say sorry first. I'm not gonna lose after making a big scene. Look, the mission's most important, okay? I don't wanna talk about this anymore. We're almost to the top. You're not off the hook, V. All right, so there, there goes my theory that V was like royalty or like in line to be the next queen. But there's a whole different situation going on. I mean, it's possible V committed uh, genocide. We can't confirm that she hasn't. Not yet, anyway. Greeting visitors, please hold still as we scan for impurities. Um, what? Uh, impurities? Huh. Huh? You saying we're not clean or something? It's not that. Hmm, well, yes, okay. Alright, you've been cleared to pass. When they scanned a uh, leaf, something weird must have came through. Oh, what are we going through? Airport security or something? It's a lot of bee guards. Oh yeah, yeah, leaf was like readying up an attack. Goodness, what a grand welcome. V, is this normal? Uh, not really. Hold it, folks. The scanner picked up something weird from one of you. What? Was it us? Most definitely. Is Leaf okay? Dearie me, we caused a scene. Could you come with me? I'll check it out ASAP. You sure you want to trust her, Leaf? Yeah, we don't have any leads right now. Nothing to lose. Guide the way, Doctor. Leads? All we're supposed to do is come and tell them we're swapping the their their tablet for a different thing which our queen already set up for us. It's not like we're supposed to be... Like we already made a deal with this kingdom so that there should be people meeting with us about that, right? So that's what the readings meant. Doctor, is Leaf okay? According to the test, ancient crystal fragments lie within you. If I'm not wrong, you can use magic? Yeah, after we woke up in Snake Mouth, it just suddenly came to us. So that wasn't a super bad lie? You still doubted us? Given the weirdness of it, I tally it to healthy skepticism. Magical powers are a common side effect of a body being linked to these crystals. Although there's still something our scanner couldn't identify, something else may be inside your body. Something else? If you'd let me put you under for a while, I could look into it. Oh no. Uh, or put us under? You know, fast asleep. Then we explore your insides after cut- Oh! There's Leaf's new move. Triggered by a creepy doctor. Leaf, you had this sort of power? No, it's weird. We just moved on our own. Sorry, we don't know what that what happened. We're not too keen to be put under, however. An involuntary sense self-defense mechanism. Leaf, was it? Give it some thought. Your condition is fascinating. 
I'm starting to get worried. Don't be, we feel fine. We're getting closer to the truth, although there's much left to answer. Well, I think we'll leave it at that for today. Sorry for distressing you. It's okay, really. Thanks. Well, we're going to be late to the meeting, aren't we? Ah, uh, yes, the Ant Kingdom brought the materials for the key replacement, right? I heard there's four other explorers looking around the hive. Could you round them up in front of the throne room? I'll meet you there when I find s uh, finish some things up. Pro. You called me, doctor? Round up the data. We have work to do. Ah, uh, yes, doctor. Yes, doctor. Great, I walk a walk around the hive. Can't be the worst thing. We'd like to get to know this place. Leaf can now use bubble shield light in battle. Which implies that there's a bubble shield not light. Fax said, Com common? Where do I get some crystals to jam into me? Yeah, no kidding. Invalid, invalid user access denied. Okay. It's Am from I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. By specs, a metal ma- Oh! Metal allows the party to see enemy HP without spying. And spying won't spend a turn. Ooh, I might have to get that. That's one of the best items in Paper Mario is the peekaboo badge where you could see everyone's health. But this one, like, you can spy without spending a turn, which is like, that's, that's perfect. I'm getting this if I can afford it. That metal looks cool. Let's snatch it. No, let's see if we can convince HP to give it to us somehow. Metal made, it can see if there's interesting objects nearby. So they're both very good badges. Okay, give us those badges. Dang, I guess we'll have to come back and figure it out later. Or the computer from Super Paper Mario. Uh, well, there's also a computer from Thousand Year Door, too. Actually very integral to the plot of Thousand Year Door. The music in here is so lighthearted. It, it reminds me of like a rare game. Welcome to Dr. HB's lab, your number one stop for any weird gadgets. Does HB stand for honeybee, I wonder? Queen is a light that shines upon us all. Do, do mind yourselves around her. Queen is the epitome of grace and beauty. Please mind yourselves around her. Okay, let's go say hi to the queen. Oh, never mind. Hello. One's art is beautiful, but is art meant only to be pretty? We should explore our inner hideousness. Good luck getting someone to do that accent again. I mean, to buy that portrait. At least wait till she draws it before judging. True. Oh, so dashing. Explorers are so interesting. Yeah, because there's also a computer in um, Super Paper Mario and the, the weird... The Chameleon's Lab, Francis. The, the weird internet nerd guy. This path leads to the Honey Factory. Please watch your step. Isn't that the guy we don't like? Just my luck, Team Snake Mouth. You got some nerve walking into the hive. Huh, pipe down, I'm here on explorer business, just like you. Come to steal some more credit, we assume? If you expect an apology, you won't get it. Ugh, you're so proud of your actions? So you're proud of your actions. I don't operate on pride. I'm committed to Mativa's rise to the top. We saw an opportunity and took it. It didn't work out, but it's not the end of the world. As you can see, even without the artifact, she is still respected. Who's gonna respect someone so petty? Bet they wouldn't if they knew the truth. V, we're not going to start badmouthing others. Then we'll be team badmouth. <laughs> when it matters, see if they believe some bumbling believe some bumbling fools over the great Mathiva. Huh, look, we don't care. Can you just move it to the meeting point? 
That I can do. Business is business, business after all. My interests are not petty banter with you three. Yeah, yeah, just go. We'll notify Mathiva as well. You won't wait for long. See you there. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh my god, all these bees. I was hoping he could knock them away. That's not even Mathiva, it's just a stand-in. Oh, she's here. It's like Alan Wake's stand-in at the diner. Or at the restaurant. It doesn't matter. Um, now, now, there's enough Mathiva for all. Mathiva, Mathiva. Uh, how can she be so popular while being such a jerk? Ignorance is bliss for this crowd. Uh, Mathiva? More fans? Ho ho. What are you dorks doing here? Mothiva? Haha, <laughs> sorry, show's over. I hope you'll join me on my next tour. Ah. That wasn't even a show, it was just the merch table. Thanks for ruining a perfectly good tour, jerks. We didn't do anything, and you're the jerk. Your mere presence ruins my vibe, can't you tell? Maybe you can steal some of ours when we're not looking. Oh, that burn! Why you? Enough, we're not here to fight you. We have a mission. Can't we cooperate? We need not hog the glory. If we work together, we will all be recognized. Sigh, so naive. What good is fame when shared with the likes of you? Urk. Look, just go to the darn meeting point. We can settle this later. <laughs> I'll go, but not by your barking. See if you don't keep me waiting too long. Okay, so we just need to find two more explorers. What a jerk. I really, really don't get how no one sees it. To shame her defeat didn't humble her one bit. We'll have to be careful, we never know what they'll be planning. No kidding. Those guys are mean. There's two more. Welcome, welcome, Mathiva's famous accessories are on sale. They'll bring the best out of you. Doubtful. You're, you're eyeing that souvenir cap, aren't you? It's the perfect gift for Bee Kingdom lovers. This one's on sale, only 40 berries. I kinda wanna get it just to see. If there's stuff we could do with it. I hope I don't need to buy anything else, because I'm getting it. This is one purchase you won't regret. Thank you, thank you. Please visit the Fashion Bee again. I was... I was expecting one of them to call me out for buying it. Honestly. Oh, that one guy wants a, a, a fashionable hat. I remember now. There's a bee who, uh... Yeah, I I, 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 I know what you're talking about, Duskus. My, I've always been a bit plain, but clothing works wonders, doesn't it? Hey, how are you liking our wonderful hive? Have some honey, it's on me. Thank you, we won't forget this. So kind. Yeah, thanks. Did that do something? Oh, honey makes your TP fill up, right? This ball's really cute, right? I look just like Mathiva. Mathiva. This looks like a mini V. Look, look at them. Hmm, it's been so boring lately. I wish there was some gossip at least. Head down this path, you'll reach the residential zone in the balcony. Okay, I guess we're headed that way next. Only bees allowed past this point. Can you get us in then, V? Nope. Well, V, you go in by yourself. Come on. Leaf, it's good to see you again. Your performance was very pleasing. It would be great to have you at next year's festival. You can count on us. Your performance? Oh, when Leaf, like, disturbingly downed, like, an enormous pile of, uh, of leaves and, like, Five seconds flat? Yeah, that was pretty impressive. Hey, Team Snake Mouth, thanks again. We owe you for back in the desert. It was no problem. You would do the same for us. They would try, at least. We'll make up for it, you'll see. Mm hmm. Hey, V, you're being real quiet. Oh, uh, sorry, just thinking. The hive is super cool. We have to come back together when we're not on the job. Everyone's really nice, and they let us drink the fountain for free. Yeah, glad you like it. You ready to meet up? Shoot, we forgot. We'll see you there, Team Snake Mouth. Well, at least they're having fun. Huh? V. 
What? If it's about earlier, drop it. I don't want to talk about it. Look at us, V. This is serious. You're mad over petty things. You're acting like a child. Seriously, that's what you wanted to tell me? We're not finished. Something may happen tomorrow or even today, and then you won't be able to say sorry. Leave. Instead of acting so proud, won't you be happier if you fix things? V, Leaf is right. We never know what can happen. Friends are so precious to lose over nothing. But what if she doesn't forgive me? I was really mean. If you really mean it and show it, she'll forgive you. Your sisters. Fine, I'll try. Hmm, you're more mature than we expected. Shut up. We're on a mission now, but... When we have time, I'll try and apologize, okay? Are you happy now? You promise? I'll do it. I don't need to promise it like some kid. <laughs> Alright, V, we believe you. We hope it goes well. Life's too short to have dumb fights. Life is very short, and there's no time for fussing and fighting, my friends. Okay, we're going to the throne room. I have always thought that it's a crime. Hey again, the bee kingdom's quite fantastic. You think? Air is clean and people are nice. There's a great view and good food. Think you'll stay here? No, I don't think I will. No, I don't think I will. It's the meme. I want to see what else the world can offer. May we meet again, explorer. May, may we meet again indeed. Um, prepare for a huge lore dump in a single image. Okay. Uh, let's just talk to these people first, then we'll look through the telescope. I wonder if, if V's sister looks like her or if she looks really different. I'm, I'm curious to see when we when we run into it. The Bee Kingdom was generous enough to let me conduct my research here. The least I could do is lend others my Elioscope. Give it a go with A. All right, we'll just do it right now then. There's a big hole in the ground. Hey, that's like the first place we were at. And this is the second place we were at. And this be must be a place we haven't visited yet. And then, um... Oh, wait, we could straight up see like the whole what's their world basically, isn't it? it it's like maybe like someone's backyard or something. I'm trying to figure out what I'm looking at exactly. Like, this is a fence right here. There's water coming out. It's like a storm drain or something. The whole world is a big, bold backyard. Right, and that's like a little sandbox. That's cute. Well, these people really don't, uh... have much upkeep on their backyard. The Golden Settlement, can't wait for next year's festival. You can see where we used to stay, good old times. That's pretty good, lore dump. We need to find V's sister. I keep thinking this song's gonna go it's a small world after all. Combined with the merch tables and how much everyone likes visiting here, it, it reminds me of like Disneyland or something or like some theme park. That's not V-Sister, is it? Who's this? Oh, so dashing. Explorers are so interesting. What a fluffy bee. Bumblebees are pretty cute. Not cuter than me, though. We don't dare to disagree. That is a very fluffy bee. Out for lunch. The sign's in the way. Alright, so the throne room should be open now. Yeah, that is pretty clever that they would make the desert world a sandbox. It's weird how we would be able to look, see all that stuff from that position, but maybe that's why it's not a telescope, it's an elioscope, which gives it more abilities. Final boss should be a giant person. There was this old computer game I played years and years ago, like around the time I first was using a computer, where you played as an 
as an ant kingdom. And it was kind of like an RPG, but instead of health points, the, the number of ants in your army was your health. And you had to fight other, an, uh, other bugs at first, and you were slowly working your way up to fighting like small animals. Until eventually, you could fight like a farmer, which I think was like the final boss or like the biggest enemy you could fight was like a farmer. And you could like, it's terrifying to think that an army of ants just would attack a, an adult man and just beat him. So that's something you did. Seems only Kina is left. Oh no, nah, she gave us the parts so we're good to go. She's shameless, that's what she is. Then if these are all the explorers, we shall open the throne room. Be on your best behavior. Is that a pun? Be on your best behavior? Eve, uh, for even glancing upon our queen is a privilege. Of course, Miss Guard, we adore the queen and would never dream to upset her. Ho ho ho. Are you the same Mathiva? She's gonna suck up to the queen, of course. Oh, so we're in a tree. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Be silent and go in. I liked my theory that an ilioscope was just beyond our comprehension. My queen, the Ant Kingdom's explorers have arrived. The doctor's here as well. Oh, adorable, aren't they? Welcome. I hope the hive has shown great hospitality and kindness towards you. Yes, we're grateful, queen. Oh, most respected queen. Your words humble our heart. We are truly blessed to be in your presence. Mativa, don't overdo it. Uh, yeah, it's nice to be back. V, is that you? You've grown so beautifully into a fine bee. Um... We've heard of your exploits here. You have brought pleasant surprises to my days. That's great, V. Thank you, Queen. Grr. The hive is wonderful. Makes me wish I was a bee. Aha, uh -huh, now, now, we all have our wonderful place in this world. This queen is something else. If only ours took note. I was wondering if she was going to be nicer than the ant queen. Uh, but now the time for pleasantries is over. If you don't mind, let us get to the matter at hand. HB? Yes, my queen. As we all know, the great, f graceful Ant Queen has made a heavy request of our kind. The core of the honey factory, which we owe this great kingdom to, has turned out to be an artifact. Under normal circumstances, we would have to deny even the Queen her request. However, she has provided us with all we need to build a new core. Right, Kina should have delivered them to the factory already. Oofoofoo, yes, I have gone there and gave a quick examination. With my incredible intellect, I can quickly create a suitable replacement, all due to these materials of incredible quality. It's quite a simple ordeal, isn't it? Almost feels like we've gone through a bit too many formalities. Never, your majesty. There is no s request we could not acquiesce for thee. Acquiesce? Like how your majesty is in capital, too. Aha, if you are true of your word, that would make me most happy. For I would like to invite you to accompany the doctor to the honey factory and witness this pivotal exchange. Why do I feel like Mathiva is going to try to like take the new core hostage or something? You're not obligated to go, but if uh, it would warm our, our heart if you did. Yes, yes. Sure thing, we would love to see even more of the kingdom. Yes, for one scene, honey being produced sounds delicious. Leaf, you are not to eat any of it. Aww. Uh, um, thanks, we'll go. Leaf really is a hungry boy. V. Queen? Contrary to what I believed, it seems the outside world did you some good. You look so grown up, your team has my thanks. Um, you're welcome, Queen. I haven't changed at all, I'm the same V. Aha, uh -huh. a mother knows best, maybe you've yet to notice. I knew it! I knew it. She is royalty. Well, shall we go? The queen is speaking, shut your mouth. Beep. No need to be so ruthless, my dear. Oh, well, she's all of their mothers, technically, because that's how bees work, right? So I guess I'm silly for... <laughs> I mean, I was still kind of right, but anyways. But you are indeed free to go into the factory. It's to the west of my throne's entrance. V, please take care of everyone as they explore it. As sure as I am that there will be no issues. Yeah, I will. You can count me. Dismissed. Sigh. Let's go, Zas. About time. Seems I have to pick up some tools. We'll meet up there. Don't let the wind blow you off the bridge. Try not. 
Yeah, that is how bees work. I, I kind of realized that after I said it. You made bees seem so mean when you have a graceful queen like that. Even we are disarmed by her words. They remind us of Elizant. I was mad at everyone, okay? Even so, you shouldn't have badmouthed them. Fine, I'm sorry, okay? And I'll, uh, I'll fix stuff slowly. Can we just do the mission? <laughs> Alright, let's go, team. Could it be that one bee that we keep seeing is V's sister? No, because then she probably would have said something when we walked up to her, maybe. I don't know. The way to the factory is just outside. You can't miss it. Please enjoy your visit. Say, V, the queen mentioned a mother knowing best. Just a bee thing, really. Do you think of the queen as your mother? Not really. She's the queen before anything else. I'm sure she does think of you as her daughter, though. Dunno. Everyone's her daughter to her. Does it make anyone special, then? That's another way of thinking about it. You two are overthinking this. Let's get going already. That's funny. That's basically the conversation we just had. Clearly this is V's sister. I mean, they, they look at the similarities. Leaf. What? Why are you whispering? Don't tell V, but doesn't that little bee look like her? Yes! See, I knew it. Oh, yeah, she does, doesn't she? She looks so annoyed, too. You suck at whispering. That's funny. That's a pretty drawing. Um... So this is, must be the factory right here. Cause look at the door. Oh, never mind. Oh no no, they said it was west of the throne room, didn't they? Yeah, you could see the little cogs moving. Whoop! Okay, I was holding B and it skips a little bit. Oi, calm down. A bridge is not the best place for sudden outbursts. Look, everything in the factory is super expensive and they don't let you leave mid-tour. I see. We should shop beforehand then? Yep, let's save some berries. Or we could spend a little not to have to go all the way back. Well, there, were, there weren't any shops there though, from what I saw. Unless we we're about to see a shop first. So many tourists, this is the famous honey factory. Amazing, right? Here's where we produce all of Bulgaria's honey. Oh, um, ignore this pile of scraps. Some explorer left it here and walked out. Boring. Let's go, Zasp. Anyway, I'm Tuvi, your delightful tour guide. While the incredible doctor builds our new core, I'll show you around. For lots of fun. Yeehaw, can't wait. Sounds like a good opportunity, does it? Science is credible, but not the best spectator sport. By the time the tour is done, I'll have assembled everything. So go on, have fun. Thank you, Doctor. We'll enjoy this for sure. Knowing how honey is made, this is an opportunity we cannot miss. Seriously, nothing that cool. Maybe for a bee. For us, it's a great experience. Alright, alright. Jeez. It'll be fun, I guess. Um. Uh, what? Warning! Warning! Factory has been compromised. Alert code 32 engaged. Complete factory lockdown in effect. Oh, that's chill. What? What? But code 32 is... Doc, what's going on? Code 32 means the factory has been attacked by hostile forces. But how? We didn't see anyone on the way here. Doctor, we must leave. We can retrieve the artifact later. Indeed, it's not just us. Taurus and workers need to evacuate too. Guy, do you know where the overseer is? No, it's routine checkup time. She could be anywhere. Without the overseer, we're stuck. What? Code 32 will lock down the entire factory for a week. That's a little overkill. That is unless the overseer enters a disarm code. We suggest turning our trip around the factory into a rescue mission. Great idea. Finding her will fix all our problems, really. All right, we'll help. Such capable group of explorers here, we should be okay. For now, I will work on the core's replacement. Focus on the rescue mission. Let's do this. You heard that, Mathiva? Let's... Wait, where's she? Where's Asp? Huh, she's gone too. Bet they have something to do with this. For this once? Probably not. Guess we'll have to search for them too. For this once? 
For, shouldn't it just be for once? Um, because we didn't have enough to do. Okay. Okay, here we go. My training didn't cover this. Poor Tuvi. Must be rough being a tour guide. What about us? We're the one cleaning up the mess. Oh no, the Overseer is stuck in the storage. We can't gain access to the core without her. Mothifo and that wasp guy entered the storage just before the lockdown. Maybe they had something to do with it? It's possible. The, this way to the honey storage. This way to the processing area. Door's lock needs a card or something. Where could it be? Okay, so we need to find a card. Never actually seen the core itself. Wonder how it looks. Wonder how it looks like. They, they conflated two uh, common sentences. Wait, can we not? Huh. Uh. Yeah, we don't have anything for that. Looks so complicated, but I can do it. Yeah. Well, we can't go anywhere else. But we can't go this way. Someone here must have a key or something. Oh, oh the stairs. I didn't freaking see those. Path on the right leads to the Overseer's office. Maybe you can find something up there. Okay, let's talk to this guy real quick. Oh no, I just got the job and everything's already ruined. Ruined. Why does this always have to happen to me? With the factory closed, I can't sell stuff to fill my quota. No. Our management doesn't have quotas during emergencies. Ugh. Some make-believe won't hurt V. Uh, miss, we'd love to shop here if you'd have us. You will? All right, if there's customers, I can mo Great, I'm glad we could buy stuff. I was worried about that. Oh, look, and this dude's here too. That's useful. Honeyed leaf. Ooh. Leaf omelet. Uh, blazed honey. Honey ice cream. That sounds amazing. Oh, we can't afford this stuff though. Uh-oh. I don't suppose the bank person is down. Is, is the bank only in one place or are there more bank areas to pick up money from? I should have not spent money on that hat. I'm a fool. Let's see if there's anything in here we could use. Well, hang on. Let me check my actual items first. Okay, so we have some buffs. We have a little bit of healing. Yeah, I need more TP and healing for sure. May cause a brain freeze. I hope that's a joke. Shockberry! No way, is this like a Volt Shroom but it also heals? Oh, this is at a price. Because Volt Shrooms were sick. Those are one of the coolest items in Paper Mario. Health and TP together is pretty good. This one's good too, but it's so expensive. In fact, two of these is actually better than this, if, if, especially if we use them outside of battle. Ah, oh, it'll paralyze you. Okay, yeah, forget that. I wonder if you have two badges that take 50% chance away from being paralyzed and then you take that item if it just doesn't paralyze you. Alright, well I'm gonna get one of these. And then maybe we can sell something that we don't need. Wait, where's the person we sell to? Oh, there you are. 
Or can- oh, we can't sell because it's a gift shop. It got me good. Alright, that's okay. We'll just take out... We got a honey drop and... We'll just take everything out. I think we have room because we upgraded our storage recently. I'll have to remember to start, um... Giving that guy some more items next time I have more cash. Oh wait, we were supposed to go to the right first. Oh, there's the card we need. Gotta be something that gives us like more jump. Portrait of the Overseer, a bit narcissistic. Not like that. This is the honored employee portrait. These that work really hard get to put be put up there for a few days. Is there no hall of fame for all the honored employees? Yep, it's inside the hive though, so you two can't see them. So on our team, Kaboo would be the honored employee? I would? No way, it'd be me. Awaiting nomination. Yeah, poor Leaf. Didn't get nominated. Right. That's right, you can use the beamerang to grab stuff like 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 a Cooper or Coops' shell, gotta remember that. Um Okay. And this is just for I would hope they would let us do this for free. Let me see. Wait, watch out with the honey, it's super sticky, the machines are charged with numbing electricity. Some turret shoots at you, it'll, uh, make sure to block, okay. I fight turrets? If you need any magic seeds, I can't even afford that. Normally turrets can't sleep here, but it's emergency- there we go, cool. So I'm, I'm just glad that we can get that for free, in fact, we do need a little bit of healing. I'm glad when a game lets you do something, like, for free because it makes sense in the story that they would. Like, I'm in the middle of helping them out right now, so why would they charge me to rest, you know? There we go. Doors open, thanks Team Snake Mouth. Hey, it's our time to shine, Airy. Can't let them do everything, right? You sure we won't get in the way? Relax, it's just a factory. Let's go and see what we can do. Uh-oh, the factory's super dangerous. It's full of sentry bots. What? Team, we must give chase. Why is their factory full of sentry bots? That must be a sentry bot. Or it's... Is it friendly? Beep beep, tram system status offline. Contact Mel B for repairs. Okay. Due to lockdown protocol, some platforms will be routinely shocked. B workers, please hover to evade the shock and evacuate safely. Shocked? Ooh, good thing I could fly. There's no choice, V. You will have to leave us behind. Uh, no way. What if I need to cut or freeze or something? But can't Leaf fly because Leaf's a, a moth? Leaf, have you gone mad? Impressive. Wait, come back. <laughs> you did the weird thing again. We took some time to think about it and we can control it. If we hold down B, we should be able to... Uh, we should be, be able to all cross safely. Can't really jump or walk fast while doing it, though. Incredible, Leaf. You may have just saved us a lot of trouble. No flying needed. If Gen and Aerie got through, we would have found a way. Let's go. Cool. You can also move while using it to push away enemies. Sweet. That sounds very useful for avoiding fights. Oh! Sentry. Oh, 
Well, I'm just gonna freeze them first. Bubble Shield Light. Oh, and Bubble Shield. So we had the light only for a, a little bit, and before we could fight a single enemy, enemy we gained Bubble Shield. <laughs> it's kind of funny. That seems a little like a harsh punishment. It costs 7 TP already. It shields all allies for one turn. Oh, it negates all damage though, okay. I thought it was just like extra defense, but if it... Okay, all harm, okay, that's good. That's kind of like, uh... That, that's like... Vivian, like pulling you underground, or, or Bo from the first Paper Mario making you invisible. Oh, I do remember Spike Floor somewhere vaguely, so yeah, that makes sense. Anyway. I am a security torrent. So annoying, you'd think they'd stop firing at me since I'm a bee and all. Let's pummel it. Well, not all bees are created equally, if you think about it. I'll just spy on this. Den Mucus! Their electrified fur can power gadgets for days. I hope it won't shock me. I despise being shocked. I think most people do. Uh, one damage away. I kind of tell which one they're aiming at there. I got mixed up. Yeah, you were talking about Mel B's in the Discord the other day, I remember. And I think Joe said I wouldn't mind being a Mel B. Like, Joe, I don't know if you realize what you're saying. Wow, look at all those free honey drops. Wait a minute, I could just... This is amazing. Oh my god. You could just avoid fights. Oh! I didn't see that gap there. That was a little sneaky. Whoops. Ah, go back! Ah, I couldn't get back in time. No, but I think we turned those on anyway, so we're good. I wonder why they decided not to have environmental damage. Like, I'm definitely not against it. I'm just curious as to why they decided that when that was like definitely a thing in Paper Mario. I mean, this is great. If I had this, like, before, like, it makes it so easy to avoid enemies now, which is just awesome. Uh-oh, I wasn't supposed to jump down here yet, was I? Well, I was trying to do it with, uh... Like... I was trying to do it with, uh... Leaf, and then I kind of got mixed up. That was my bad. What the? What the? Ah! Uh, I'm touching it. What the heck? What the heck? Alright, um... Well, not turn, really. Let's swap. You and you. That way we can do ice fall. Whoops, that was way too high. I'm a fool for that. 
Boo, make up for my... My dumb thing I did. Boop. That's a good name for a bee bot. I'm not gonna lie. I put blasters on the bee boops. I'm gonna have to knock them out of the sky. Ow. Whoops. Oh, I'm paralyzed, so I can't attack, huh? Leaf, that's unfortunate. Oh, now they're both paralyzed. Oh, Leaf is no longer paralyzed. Good. Um, just finished my... My second playthrough of Ace Combat Zero, okay. I'm, I was throwing in front of it? I definitely have tricky, uh, tricky depth perception when it comes to this game, unfortunately. Damn it. That means we, we have to run through because we don't have time to turn the shield back on. There we go, okay. So you don't always want to use the shield. Ah, they freaking hit me. Okay. But uh, congrats, Joe. I hope you had fun. I hope you had fun playing the big game. I bet you a tornado toss will finish you off, maybe. No! Oh, I thought it only had one defense. Ace Combat Zero is the undertale of the Ace Combat series. What? That seems... Weird. I guess I'll take your word for it. Ah, oh, I forget that the person in the back does less damage. I wish how like the person in the front it has an arrow pointing up. I wish that the person in the back they had an arrow pointing down. So that it really cemented the fact that the person in back does less damage. Because I don't notice most of the time. Okay. Well. That. I figured what it did. Oh, they have a defense boost on the. Alright, screw this guy. I didn't want to, want to have to use any items, but. Well, actually, we'll have a. Uh, V use the item since they can't really do much right now. And then... And then... I think I'll freeze first. That did no damage? There we go. Jeez Louise. There we go.
Oh, because it was rolled into a ball, which meant it was like in a higher defense position. Is that what was going on there? See, I never even like... I thought it was just rolled into a ball because... I don't know. I guess I didn't really notice the actual rolling into the ball. But look who we got here. See, I'm glad I didn't use the better item. Uh, pump status offline, honey stability critical, contact Mel B for repairs. Who's this legendary Mel B we must... Thank you! Yes, I said that like Beetle from Wind Waker for some reason, I don't know why. How close are we from leveling up? We're like halfway. I'm gonna, I'll keep fighting enemies along the way. Especially since we just healed. Whoa, what is that? That's different. Interesting. The Obama honey. <laughs> they mixed too much honey. We're in big trouble. We gotta take it down or freeze it before it, it explodes. Oh! Oh no! It's like those giant bombs. From uh, Paper Mario. That don't sound good. It crumpled into a pile. Wait a minute. Why can't we attack it? Could Leaf attack it? Yeah, Leaf can attack it. Aha! It flattened into the ground, but it was basically underground in a sense. There we go. You can actually make one if you combine a honey drop with another honey drop. Ah. And yeah, yeah, it looked like the where it was at was basically underground. Oh, we already used one card, so we need to find another one. I gotta remember I have the bed bug too, so we can like rest at any point if we really need to, which is pretty cool. Why did I do that for here? We don't need it here. Now this looks like it's gonna lead up. Actually, I can't tell. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna lead up there, isn't it? Well, let's just see. If it is, then I'll go back to that hole. Yeah, okay. We'll go check out that hole over here first. Yep, that's exactly how the giant bombs worked in uh, Thousand Year Door. I remember that. Whoops. Oh, we gotta freeze it, though. There we go. Oh, those guys need help. They're having trouble, you can just tell. Eek, Team Snake Mouth, help, please. H for hurry, E for emergency, L for love me, and P for please help me.
Oh, you could bring up a leaf shield and then nuke everything. Mmm. Good point. Did it have four health and then it increased its defense? Or maybe it just updated like late. And I'm overthinking it. Hey! Got him! Yeah, it just it looked like it said I had 4 HP and then like I don't know if like I just missed the it. We owe you one again. We may have to start charging them. Nonsense V. What did you do to get rushed by B boops? Oh yeah, we were like trying to switch out. Ah, magic. How did you guys get past all the electricity floors? Um, I was gonna stay here controlling it while Eri crossed, but then they went crazy. Place is too dangerous, you shouldn't split up. If you return to a safe place, we will take care of this. Wait, we can help, seriously. We can stay here and press the switch, right? Then all of you can cross. That's a fantastic idea, we're impressed. It'll settle our debt with V, too. She was just kidding, do not worry. Right, kidding. What, will you be okay? What if you get ambushed again? Eh, it doesn't seem to be anything dangerous left around. Trust us, okay? Let's just get a move on. Press Z to give us a holler and we'll press the switch. Yep, sounds good to me. Tweedledum and Tweedledum moron. Yep, that's them, alright. Wait, what the heck? When I hit Z, the shield went away. I feel like that's not... Ah, it goes away for a second, okay. I guess sound can't travel through the shield. I know I have more time than that, but I'm just kind of being careful. Did I just... Huh. I can't... I don't think I can make that jump. Ah, damn it. I tried jumping with the shield on. Maybe I should jump down here. Whoops. Wrong button. There we go. Ah, there's another way down here. Oh, but that's... There we go. But this still doesn't... Huh. This is a weird puzzle. Because we want to go to the left, right? That's the case, I can't really... You can? You're saying I can make that jump? It's weird, it looks like it's really, really far. It's not like... Okay, so yeah, I, I wouldn't have guessed I, I could have made that jump. Okay, so there's the other pass we needed. Isn't it V? Like, they need to stop mentioning that V can fly, because V could have just flew over and hit that switch. It's the one thing. They should have made it so that V... V's wings were too small to carry her or something, I don't know. Something. Whoops. 
I didn't mean to do that. Alright, so now we can go up here. Or we could go this way. I'm actually not sure which way to go now. Well, like first. I'm sure we want to go both ways. Wait, did that... Do we need a second one? Okay, we must need a se second one, which I'm guessing is up here. Got him. You know what? I'm actually using something different for once. Whoops, I meant to use a uh, leaf. Oh well. See the light. Oh, I need three. No, I, I didn't. I was trying to look for something that indicated we needed more. But I couldn't poisonally see. God, that costs so much. Yeah, it is just better using Leaf's freezing thing. Um, oh well. in no time. In fact, it looks like we'll level up in the next fight. Hey, look at that. Crunchy leaf. It's very satisfying when, when enemies drop items like that. Must be something special to the left here. I'm gonna try to... Um, doesn't look like it. Maybe behind that box. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just hop there and see. Must be something here. Ah, shell ointment. Four and five beetles love this ointment. Gives status immunity and defense for up to one turn. Removes extra turns. Okay. Cool. Ow. Also, I like how the transition screen is. Instead of leaves, it's it's like honeycombs now. All right. Well, at least we got the right person in front already. Yeah, baby. That's what we like to see. I like that Kab Kabu can still do two damage from the back. So Kabu being in the back actually is not bad. I I didn't I I always don't notice when they switch their who they're targeting that always throws me off We're on playthrough three now, wow. Are you playing on a harder difficulty? Level up. I think we'll do TP, ah. Be nice to give everyone. Man, if only it was plus two health points for everyone, I would be using this. 
kind of want to give a health boost though. We haven't had one in a while. And 12 is a nice number. Um, we're doing okay on TP right now, I feel like. Maybe... I'm going to do health because I'm going to keep holding off on that. We'll do TP next time. Look at all them berries. Oh, you've been raising it every time? That's good. Hi. Okay, glad we made it. Training grounds and notice, remember that the doors only stay open for a while, so crank it up and run for it. Oh, it's almost Walter time, jeez. Oh, is that what's gonna shut when I... I'm gonna get shocked, yeah. Oh, bounce. Okay, I see. Oh, damn it. I timed that wrong. I thought it was shutting off. There we go. I believe Walter time is now. I'm gonna actually pause right here. Oh, no! We can't make a run for this one. Unless there's something I'm missing. Because we can't even make it. Well, actually, what we could do is... Get at least a little bit of a head start. Hey, that did it. So yeah, that one didn't. It took a while to shut, so we got it. Cool. Tree now. I'll just hop down to this. Uh, before we open it, I will. Um... Whoops! Last one is in the room to the left of the cycling platforms. Wait, there's a room to the left of the cycling platforms? Oh, how the heck did I miss that? Whoops. I'm dumb. For some reason, I assumed I had been in there already.
Okay. Alrighty. We're back. Guess who's back? Jay is back. Tell your friends. Guess who's back? Jay is back. Jay is back. Ooh, wow. Oh, I almost changed my TV uh, to another mode, but I just remembered it was a Steam game. Okay. All right, so we just got to a new room. We need one more card key. One more card key, please. Oh, interesting. Ah, that did something. Damn it! It wasn't hitting the block. Oh, well, we'll just fight these guys, no biggie. I'm still a little confused about how defense works in this game. Because it feels a little different from Paper Mario. Like, it almost feels like you technically do piercing damage if there's no def- like, if you get over the defense barrier, but I don't know if that's actually the case. Whereas in Paper Mario, it was just completely additive, depending on, you know. Oh, I was just supposed to come up here and use this. Okay, and instead I I speed ran and I and I used the enemy ice block. That's kind of funny. Unless we could just create more of these. No, we can't. Okay, never mind. It's just that then. I get it now. Is it a li exactly like the defense in Paper Mario? It's just weird to me that like, when I'm in the back with V and I'll hit something and do zero damage, but I feel like they only have one, like, they only have one defense. And then I'll hit something with no defense from the back and it does two damage. I don't know, like, it just feels, like, off. Something, like, I... It's not clicking with me, like, with Paper Mario, everything's, like, really, really obvious what's going on. I'm still, like, not exactly sure all the time when I'm playing this. Damn it. But I just did two damage with V in the back when hitting something with, with no defense. So that's why I'm confused about how everything works still. It seems like there's a lot there's a lot more variables in this game, I guess. Which, uh... I don't exactly have all situated yet in my brain. I should have left that frozen. I should have just turned. Let's 
spy again and check because respy won't waste a turn. Unless I miss it, won't it? Because it still makes you do the mini game again. Well, it says it has one defense right there, but that's one defense on top of the defense it already has, right? So hang on, let me spy on this. Because maybe maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's like it has one defense, but it has an, an additional defense, right? Also, that just wasted my turn with Leaf, didn't it? So I think Spine does waste turn. Are you sure you just didn't have that metal for a long time that makes Spine not waste turns? And, and you kind of conflated that with thinking that if you spot on them once, you don't, it won't waste a turn? Because I definitely use a Leaf's turn right now. I, I do want that metal. I think I... Why, did, why didn't I get it? Maybe I couldn't afford it. I think I was gonna get it, but I didn't have the money at the time or something. But, uh, anyway. Ah, oh, damn. I never notice when they switch targets. It always throws me off. Oh, we're all paralyzed. <laughs> oh, okay. Kabu got out of it. Oof. Oh, right. That's the one that we saw, but we can't get yet. Right, that's why. I knew there had to be some reason why I didn't just grab it. I did do one damage, but didn't he technically have two defense? Or I don't know. I don't think so. So I did two damage to that, which has no defense, right? Right, it would do zero to- no, I know that. I know the tornado costs- you can't use that against anything that has any defense. Okay, so there's the last card. It, it's just like- it's just like a uh, bow in pa the first Paper Mario. Her base attack is like strong- like it does more damage total than most people's base attacks, but it does one damage per hit. Um... Alright, so... So we should be able to pass through now. And yeah, now I do see those lights up there now. They were like not popping off to me earlier, but now I see them. Is that a trailer? Or not? Oh, it's like a little tram. Oh no, I should have healed probably. Away, away with you. Malby, hang in there. We'll keep you safe. D, what are you doing here? Talk later, we're getting rid of these pests. Oh boy. Well, at least we have a lot of TP. And uh, we got the right person in front for it, too. If they freeze, though. Ah, whatever. damage to them without breaking any of the frozen ones. And then I'll freeze them all over again. Burn relay again. Well actually, let's make Kabu do the turn relay since he's in the back. Well, it doesn't matter because we're not going to want to hit another one afterwards anyways, are we? Whatever. 
Let's just take this guy out. Well, I could use uh, just a secret stash just to use it. There we go. Um, and I think I'll save some TP in case. Ah, damn it. They always fall onto the ground like that. These guys. We did. I keep saying they explode, but they haven't been like trying to explode. Is it just by chance I haven't seen them go for the explode move? Watch it, you almost splatter that honey on me. And I don't even get a thank you. You don't deserve it, V. We, um, are glad to see you're okay. V, who is this? This is- oh, it's Malby, the maintenance chief. They keep saying, see Malby. That I am. Glad you still remember that. Who are those two with you? V's exploration team, at your service. So you did go and build up a team instead of doing your shift here, didn't you? Anything's better than here, but you never saw it coming either. I didn't. The V from back then wouldn't have managed. Hey, guess something changed, though. Seems that I owe you in the end, so thanks. Who knows what could have happened. You're welcome? Uh, I'm glad we could be of help. By the way, Miss Malby, we're looking for the Overseer. Would you be able to help us? Oh, her? She's got to be trapped in storage. With the security in place, the vents shut down, honey's heating up, and those Obama honeys are popping up. She won't last long by herself. What do we do? The storage is locked. That's because the pump shut down. I was about to fix it when I got jumped. Can you fix it now? Yep, hang on tight for a few minutes. Okay. How close am I to finishing this chapter, by the way? Uh, is it done? Yep, good as new. Processing is back to full power. Storage should be open too. Thank you, now we've just got to walk back. Oh, you're going to like this, Kabu. With the machines working again, we could catch the tram back. Oh, cool. This really is like a theme park, what the heck? Will it bring us back to the entrance? Yeah, saves a lot of time and you get to see the factory from a whole new angle. That is fantastic, we do get to tour around after all. Thanks Malby, we're gonna go do our mission and stuff. Hmm, V, if you don't think you're cut for exploration stuff, I'll actually rehire you. Okay, so we are actually near the end, okay cool. Yeah, see, this chapter's not taking me longer if we're almost done. Uh, could always use more folk pushing boxes. Never, let's go, team. Because the last stream was four hours, and then this one we kind of wasted a little time. With that secret boss fight, and then some controller issues anyways. Alright, let's go. Beep, boop, bop. Let's save. Oh, we should sleep while we're down here, too. Maybe... Grab an item or two if we can afford it. Oops, wrong person. Dun dun dun! Dun 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 Okay. Just have to track down the beach and then we can progress. Alright, let's see here. Oh. Yeah, I think I'll just get a few of these. Wait, we're out of space?
Oh. Well, good thing this guy's here. See, I don't think we need hard seeds right now. We're about to get some mushrooms that are like this, but better for the most part. I could get rid of the water, but hold on to the mushroom. Well, that just cures poison. The water clear clears anything. Hmm. So we're making room for three. Okay, that works out. And we'll buy a few of these. Welcome back, Joe. We're, we're getting close to the boss, I believe. The bee in there is like glitching out. Did you see that? Look at it. Is this part of the deep lore? Did it, yep, look at him. Oh, Lord. That can't be healthy. Alright, so now this is opened up, so you can see what's going on in here. This looks like a save before a boss type thing. Those things always get me. It's kind of a hard perspective. Oh, Well... Screw you guys. I'm gonna hit hard. Yeah, yada 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 zay. to do much are you V okay. one damage is better than nothing ouch you're barricading the door oh a cow was trying to claw in yeah. Pets be like that sometimes. Oh yeah. No, no, no. There we go. Yeah, this should do it. Yeah. Let's see what's going on over here. This is weird. Camera placement. So it's showing there's stuff here in the front. And if we come to the left, there doesn't appear to be an opening to actually go anywhere. There's all this space right here that doesn't... Very strange room. Okay, that did something. What did that 
do, though? Okay! Just a whole bunch of crates went miss- or like a huge crate, I guess, went missing. Alright then. And is this the part where we drop in and there's the flower? Yep. Um, not yet. I want to check out what's up here first. I wonder if we wanted to go... Okay, here we go, guys. There's like a little bonus back there. It looks like they're suggesting if we can hit this, but then also be up there, then we can get across and grab that crystal. So, I don't know, if that's optional, I'm just going to forget it. We'll just go down here. Wow, wow, wow. Day 63 of the ADBP's HALT upgrade testing is progressing smoothly. When the HALT stops, it returns a bit behind its launch coordinates. Hawk sets the malfunction. It's a feature. Isn't that like a Bethesda thing? Like, it's a feature? Like, when I get- Oh my god. I should have fought the thing first. When there's actually bugs. Cause all I do is AKA the Wario virus and get it together, yeah. Wario. Also, I need to remember you can angle the, the boomerang, so I could potentially grab that from like down here, maybe. Because Coops and Cooper couldn't angle their shell shots. Or maybe I can't. Like we could almost. Oh, just make the jump. Um, I guess I'll use one of these. virus to turn you into Wario, would you let yourself get infected? Sounds a little terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, oh yeah, that's the... Ah! But then when once I'm up here...
Is there some like upgrade I need that I don't have yet for this? Because how can I hit that switch at this? Oh, unless like you hold it and it keeps hitting the switch. No, that doesn't work. Two boxes to the left. Oh, you're saying I could reach it if I, like, I'm like here. Wait, no, I don't get it. <laughs> I can reach it. No, I definitely can't reach it. It seems like I should have a skill or something where I can hit the switch down there while I'm up here. But as far as I know, we don't have a skill like that. If this was Paper Mario, you could like hold it like this and then go up and then let go. And it would come back and hit the switch, but I don't... Oh, it does work like that. Okay, see this whole time... This whole time I didn't realize that the beam ring could actually do that because we haven't used it yet. Okay, cool. That's just the first time we've had to do that. Um, is there nothing here? There's got to be something somewhere. Is that weird for there to be an empty room? Yes. Wait, what's this feeling? Oh! A goop team watch out above us. A giant goop of honey. Eep, I wish it had been empty after all. Ready up, it's coming. Alright, here we go. Well, first of all... Hey, it's frozen! That means I shouldn't hit it now, though. Um, maybe, let's see. Do I have any items I could use right now? Now, I don't know if this is the boss or if it's the mini boss still. I feel like should bother using a lot of crazy items. I just don't know. Well, let's spy on it first. That might give us a good idea. Forty health. Okay, I think that's the mini bus. Factory shuts down for a few minutes, and this happens. Yikes! Talk about escalating quickly. Got to get rid of it, but we can't ignore the Obama honeys either. There aren't any Obama honeys. You've gone insane. Oh, I was supposed to freeze it. I forgot. I'm a fool. Oh, but they're like mini ones, though. Uh-oh, I missed. Well, I missed one of them. Oh. That had more defense than I had anticipated. Puff and puff. Oh yeah, you're right. The cloud dude, right? Try to freeze his ass again. Oh, I forgot about the second step for a second. And then... Do, 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 do. 
We could always just heal outside with the flower after this fight, so I, I don't feel like I shouldn't be using like items really unless I really need to. So I'll just do... Oh, we still have two people. Oh, everyone can fight. I don't know how I keep not realizing that. Okay. Oh, it's attack just went up. It's not good for for the crew. Green mean it means it gets two attacks. I don't know. No, 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 because we had the two attacks, which is what confused me. What the? Oh, that was intense. They got absorbed by like a slime. Whoa, are those? Don't say anything. What happened? We found this key card and then. Don't say anything. This is so embarrassing. A disgrace. A thank you would be enough. Never. This never happened. Or. Oh, there she goes. What's her problem? Humbleness is hard to come by. Well, if she's gone, I guess I can thank you. We really owe you. Huh, you're welcome. You must have been terrified. We were. We really thought that was for us. Try not to bring it up, okay? Even Mothiva can get very scared. And why shouldn't we? Take this. They thought it was it for them. I trust this makes us even? We were even from the start. Go, you wouldn't want to keep her waiting. See you upstairs, Team Snake Mouth. So he's starting to gain respect for us. My thief, on the other hand, not a fan. Huh, what matters is we got the card. I'm sure we could save the Overseer with this. It'll be so hard not to rub this in her face. Guess we're better than that though, let's go. I feel like I'm gonna pay for the flower to heal us and then we're gonna run into a health save spot anyways, but just in case. Well, now that I know, whoops, that was an accident. We just landed in the exact wrong spot. Take care of them real quick. Whoops! I didn't mean to turn relay. And you say if I turn relay back, I'll get it back, right? Did I just do it? Am I going crazy? What just happened? Why is green can't do anything now? Wait, so turn relay... V... Oh my god. Can I- I'm just- I just- I can't... I can't turn relay at all! I thought you said that, like, when you turn relayed back, you got your... you undid it. I'm leaving. Screw this. I just don't... I don't want to deal with them. So this brings that up. Right, so here's what we're gonna do. I mean, whatever the case, it became un... Like, changeable because, like, no one could turn relay anyone anymore. God damn it, I did the wrong order. Might as well just hit it now. Alright, but it's cool now that I know that they could do, like, the coop shell thing, because... The thing is, like, you never see the boomerang go behind you. In, P in Paper Mario, you clearly see... Oh, there it goes. It's because I'm walking. But if you stand still, it does go behind you. Okay. 
Interesting. But either way, we figured it out. Yeah, I mean, you can't remember everything. There's a lot of things to remember. Alright, so the switch was... Was it down here? I just went back to where I was. No, 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 it's over here. There it is. Okay. No. There we go. Got like on the rebound. Then we go up here. We're gonna walk across this. Then we drop it. Yeah. Now we can get this. Boss fight. Real boss fight. Well, almost. I probably should have just avoided that. Oh, it's only one. That's no biggie. Yeah, I'm guessing we are going to come across a... Uh, a healing save spot then. They probably always have them before a boss. So I'm just going to use my TP with Reckless Abandon. You little... For the boss. Okay, I'm um, so Oh, the thing, the room to the north. I remember that. I had forgotten we never went in there. I'm just gonna attack with everyone. Well, then again, we're just about, we're about to level up, so I guess it wouldn't. Oh, one XP point off. Hello. Oh, that must be her. Oh, gods, they're here. They've learned how to climb. Boy, we're here to help. V, what are you doing here? We've come to save you. And have you opened the core room? Mm-hmm, Team Snake Mouth to the rescue. Team Snake Mouth, that was you in it, huh? Guess your Explorer gig did pay off. I feel kind of bad for not believing in you at all. We can still leave you here, you know. Oh, sorry. What I meant to say is I'm impressed. <laughs> I would never expect the Code 32 to just to happen just on the day we would replace the core. The vents have shut off and the honeys become volatile. The Obama honeys are taking over. We need to, to set the core fast, but I can't get past all these monsters. We're not, we'll, we shall escort you to the exit. Just stick with us, we'll make sure nothing harms you. Sure hope so, or I'll just, I'll just come running back. Oh. Uh, really? Oh, well, we just have to use... Easy. Man, imagine if we didn't have this. 
Oh, but this part. Okay, I'm gonna knock you down here. There we go. Get out the way. Well, you know what? Aha! Also, that's not V-Sister. Okay. Oh god, you made it. This really isn't in the job description. Stuff will go back to normal when the lockdown ends, right? Yeah, I've just gotta restart the system and everything should stabilize. Gotta review this protocol, seriously. That's a relief. Explorers can be pretty cool, thank you. <laughs> I'll go to the core room, you should be able to get out then. When HB's ready to switch the core, feel free to tag along. With that, I'm out. Job well done. Praise will get you anywhere, AV. Yep, anywhere, anytime. Time to finish this job, okay. Okay, time for the last, final room. Scooby-Doo-Doo, Scooby-Dee-Dee, Scooby-Da-Da, Scooby-Da-Do. Oh yeah, that's what I, that's what I was saying, that's her. That's uh, the factory leader. Because they said she was locked in storage. With, along with the other two, they were just in different places. Yeah, I, I, I got that. I got it. My hands hurt, but we finished the core in time. Overseer's here, let's exchange the core. Alright, I'll unlock the core now, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. And we're one XP off from leveling up. I should just go back and fight an enemy real quick, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, what is that? That looks like a cane or a... What is it called? Lacrosse or something? When you have like, you scoop the ball. It's like a weird fancy sport the rich people play. Uh, there it is. The factory's core. So this is the core. It's a bit unsightly. Hey, it was definitely designed with function over form. This is such a big day, the core's never been replaced. If this goes awry, the whole factory will explode. What did you say? Explode? Seriously. Pro, I told you that was a 0 0.004 chance. Shut up. Sorry, doctor. You. I don't want to be here if it's going to pull up. Oof. Please do not scare us like that. Sorry, we'll have a talk later, Pro. Eep. I was going to give a speech, but the mood's ruined. I'll just replace it now. Finally. What is it now? Oh, well. Oh no, no, no. Mathiva behind me. Everyone, be on guard. Oh, calm down. Watch this. The activation code 940906. What if that's the code to get into that secret underground club? Core protection protocol authority override. Code 32 in effect. Deactivation command rejected. Objective protect core at all costs. Why would they ever code that in? Now you can panic. Doctor, what do we do? Leave it to us, we'll knock this thing out. Yeah, we ain't leaving without the artifact. Hey, maybe Mathiva. Yeah, there we go, we're gonna have to work together. Think of all the fame we'll get for this. We're here too. Oh yeah. Everyone, all right, take care of the bee boops. We'll ah, of course. Of course. They got, they're gonna be busy with the bee boops. That's fair, I guess. You'd give me such a simple task? Shut it, they're coming, just do your job. Or whatever, let's go. She's complaining about not fighting a giant thing. Alright, well first things first. Yeah, this is some good music so far. Poor robot, it's only doing its job, but we cannot back down. Heavy drone B, B33. I'll do my best to draw in its fire while V knocks it down. It's like F-Zero or something, that's pretty good. Alright, um... Try this. 
Oh, we can't? Never mind. Guess we need to knock it down first. Hurricane Toss ought to do the trick. Hey! Yeah! Baby! Mecha Bee Destroyer Blast Lord. That's the name of the song. That's pretty funny. Just take it all the way. Since it's frozen, you should. Yeah. And then we'll try freezing it again, maybe. I should finish it with, with the freeze. So that way it'll stay frozen, possibly. Ah, okay. That's fair. I mean, we don't want to just cheese this guy. Or do we? Ah, three turns until it's gonna hit Kaboo specifically. It's in all caps, okay. Seems about right. Glad it's enough hits to knock it down. It's convenient. Alright, um. Uh, I should have got some that were just TP, honestly, but that's okay. I didn't think about that at the time. Ah, we got lucky with that first freeze. Breaking down, though. Oh! Ah, it was a late delay thing. Wait, what? Infinity attack, infinity defense? Is that, is, what's going on there? I am not sure what that's all about. Oh yeah, we do have those spicy berries. Give it to V. If that boosts the... Uh, Oh! I don't have enough for that. Okay. It's okay. We'll just use another item. And we'll give it to... V needs it the most. Alright. Okay, hopefully this does good. Yeah! I went right back up. And now it has plus one something or another. Okay, I'm just gonna use a normal attack so I can... Hey! Ah, but then it fall down. Oh, it's alright. I'll turn relay. Fall down. Yeah. Come on, freeze this sucker. Oh yeah, at least it did good damage. Oh, wow, so many attacks. I forgot about that. It's not very good. Okay, we were wrecking him, but then he came strong with that. So, we're gonna have to be careful. Dang, I don't know if we have any more TP items. We don't. Alright, that's okay. Oh, we do have one more. Cool. Okay, um, so we relay this to V, and then V can...
But it's been weakened from the turn relay, right? So maybe instead we should just turn use this to use an item. And we'll just give ourselves another uh, spicy berry. And then we can use it more effectively next turn. In fact, what if we even change positions? And then... Hurricane Tossed. Oh my god! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! You done, son? Rank up! Alright. Um, so we did health last time. We might want metal. We might we might we might start getting some good medals, but you know what? I'll do TP one more time and then we'll do more medals. Then we will do more metals. Mission failed system crew Yay. We've done it. You should have left the big one to us and saved us a lot of time. Shut it, Mativa. Huh, good moves. At the very least, we've accomplished our goal. We can agree for once. Uh, yep. Good job, everyone. You did almost nothing. So mean. Well done, teams. We can replace the core now. Still, what a shame. Such a beautiful machine reduced to scrap. We'll fix it later, Doctor. Could you replace it? I really want to leave. No kidding. Feels like we've been here forever. Alright, alright. Here goes nothing. Hope it doesn't explode. Now you're worried. New core looks huge. Factory core reset uh, completed. There you go, but you can't tell the difference. I'm a genius. Awesome, Doctor. Mission complete, we can finally leave. Yeah, yeah, can we have the old core to give to the Queen, of course? Of course. Of course, they're gonna get the credit. Wait, no, give it to me. Okay, good, we got it. You have found the ancient key, or it looks like half of a key, really. Team Snakemouth cut across vast lost lands, thwarting a gang of bandits along the way. Despite V's foul mood, the team took the Deviant Roots elevator, arriving at the Bee Kingdom. Leaf had a scare, but the team learned more about what happened in Snakemouth then. V was convinced to reconcile with her sister and face the queen of all bees. Although the factory tour went a bit awry, the explorers worked together to replace the core. We, we still haven't talked to her sister yet. Now all pieces have been assembled. Is the everlasting sapling finally within reach? End of chapter three. Was Ktavr? Fascinating, your condition. I haven't forgotten. Think about my offer, okay? Urgh. Just ambush us later for it. See how well it goes for you. Huh, you're growing bolder, you brat. Now, now, we can all go home. Surely that is reason to celebrate. You got it. We're going for some succulent berries. See you at the palace. Ugh, they better mention all the help we gave you or you'll see. Shall we go, Mathiva? Yeah, whatever. Tomorrow's a new day for glorious fame. Frickin' ninjas. Alright, one last thing. Pass by my lab when you have time. There's something cool I'd like to show you. Hopefully you give me those medals. Sure thing, Doc. Ah, you're dropping by. I better ask the Queen about the shutdown real quick then. Um, thanks for everything. See ya. Huff, what an exhausting tour that was, but it was fun too. Got a real weird idea of fun. We should go hand over this artifact. Let's go, everyone. Do you like to save? Yep. So normally I'd stop right here. I'm just gonna go real quick. See, we got that achievement unlocked. I think that's supposed to be the, you beat the chapter. But for some reason, Steam doesn't seem to be recognizing. I'm just gonna save in the town. Oh, damn it, of course. I should have realized. It's relieving to get out, isn't it? And nobody got hurt. Mm-hmm. Something on your mind? Kinda. Malby and the Overseer never really approved of me, but they changed their mind. So I don't know, maybe I can fix stuff with my sister. D, you've mentioned her before, but what kind of bee is she? Her name is Juan? Juan? 
Juan. Oh, she's a painter in the hive. We got into a really bad fight. The crisis is over. We won't complain about a small detour, but it's up to you. Thanks. I'll think about it. I'll drop by when I feel it's right. We're just gonna say we're, we're not gonna go talk to her sister yet. We're just gonna save and wrap up for the night. All right, cool. Another chapter down. Four more to go. I think we're doing pretty good. Um, yeah. Thanks again, as always, for everyone for joining. I don't know if I'm gonna stream tomorrow. I might continue the next day. Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. I might continue on Friday instead. We'll see. But yeah, until then, have a great night. Thanks for joining. Catch you all next time.